Yo. There we go. Yo, what up, my friends? Hello, hello. Welcome into today's Mortal Kombat show. Mortal Kombat 3 was the roster that had no scorpion on it. Now, on Mortal Kombat 3, there was no scorpion. There was no traditional ninjas. You did have Sub-Zero, but he was unmasked. Mortal Kombat 3 just had its 29th birthday a couple days ago. I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look at the roster once again. As you come into the stream, let me know how your day is going today. Oh my goodness. What's up, Chris? Welcome into the stream. I hope you're having a great day. There we go. KD, Chris is first. Steven, what's up, my bro? Billy, what's going on? Hey, Seuss, how you feeling today? Let me make one audio adjustment there. Ultimate Gamer has joined us over on the red side. What's up, Ultimate Gamer? Great name, buddy. Genova, how are you feeling today? April, welcome in. Jack, good to see you. You just had three teeth yanked. Nice. Congratulations on getting the uh, progress. What's up, Luco? I got the package. Let me get everything. Uh, let me get the chat bot set up here. I got one little setup that I did that I guess is not going to work while we're live. Okay, no, that works. All right. Um. All right, let me stretch this out. Getting some lunch. Let me know what you're getting for lunch. What's up, Casey? Good to see you. We got April. Good to see you all hanging out. Let me turn on the chat bot for you legends. And there we go. We're looking good. Genova, thank you. There we go, legends. Yo, Lovell, Robert, Genova, Jessup, how you feeling, my bro? Good to see you, y'all. Hope things are going well. Kitty's doing great, my bro. Carlos, how you feeling? Chuck, how you doing today, boss? Gurja, welcome into the stream. So I had a different setup today. We had to go to the post office, but this worked out. This time's out much better. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he's kicking me in the face. That's the worst place to get kicked. Steve, what's up, buddy? I hope he falls for this. He fell for it. Genova, what kind of lunch are y'all having? You can't just tell me about lunch and not tell me about some of this wonderful foods. What's the greatest food out there? I gotta ask y'all. What's up, James Benton? April, thank you for the 50 stars. I absolutely appreciate you showing love, especially after all these years. Jessup, can you see over there on YT? Can you type, uh, oh, I gotta look. There's a way to see how long you've been a subscriber, I think on YouTube through my chat bot now. Uh, I'll figure it out. But Mortal Kombat 3 had no Scorpion. This game just had its anniversary the other day. I want to give a huge... Hang on a second. I don't remember if I could do the easy fatalities or not. April is eating a two-item sushi bento box meal. That sounds incredible. April, thank you for the star, love. These flowers are going out to you, girl. I do appreciate you. Raymond, what's up, Raymond boss? Welcome into the stream. We got Flame in here today, too. Steven's on the kick machine. Make sure you follow our kick, too. Click those four, four squares in the Facebook chat. Find our kick page. Make sure you follow us over there. Might be doing some, uh, might be doing some completely different stuff. I might make my kick and my workout channel. If you want to see Ring Fit Adventure, it's over there. I might do some of that. There we go. Chicken court on blue. David, that sounds tasty. No, I meant like just the uh, the subscriber. Not, not that's the thing on Facebook. Like, uh, how long you've just actually been a subscriber on YouTube? It's called a member, and uh, I feel kind of dumb because apparently I've had gifted memberships on YouTube, and uh, I just it didn't show up for me. So I just thought they weren't working. Yo, what's up, Ray Sean? A bacon blue cheeseburger sounds amazing. But apparently they were there the whole time, and I was hitting up their support staff and everything like that. Not good. Now, the only way to get the animality is uh, the only way... I got to look at it, Jessup. I don't remember what the commands were. Unless you tried exclamation point command. See if that does anything. Fight. What's up? Good to see you legends coming in. Junior, welcome, man. If you get to lose the round, you can go for your animality, but that's the only way you can do the dragon. Only dragon you can get. Parichia, welcome to the show. Let's see, so this is, uh, yeah, down. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. 
technically that should work, Jessup. That should do something. I think. Oh, nice, Chuck. How you feeling today, boss? Welcome into the show. So this is ultimate. This is a uh, Mortal Kombat three, which just celebrated its birthday the other day. It had twenty nine years old. Ooh, Daryl, that sounds good, brother. Round one. If it doesn't, William, I gotta set it up again. Oh, nice, Parisia. This character's pretty tough. Stay on him. Don't be afraid to hit your uh, projectiles on him either. Turkey sausage sounds good. Genova Noah, welcome into the stream. Striker's a pain in the butt. Yep. Kid Jackson, what's up, boss? There we go, there we go. Stay back. There's a way to uh, manipulate him with this. I'm going to be updating stickers again here soon, too, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be amazing. What's up, Lawrence? I think they're worried about sales. Or not sales. They're worried about people wouldn't play them uh, after they released them, which I don't know why that'd be a thing. But uh, I don't know. That's not something I was very familiar with. What's up, Monarch? It's good to see you. All right, I got a new chat set up. It's looking a little bit better. What's up, Dopa? I'm playing this bro character. That's the thing right there. That's the mechanic. I had to remember it. Ishmael, what's up, buddy? What gender snap, huh? There we go. We got him. Welcome to the stream once again. As you come in, don't forget to click that four squares in the chat on Facebook and down by the star icon. You click those four squares, you're going to see if you have a gifted sub in there. There's also the link for the cheap stars and the download section, which is called the link tree. In there is all the stuff you need. Hey, thank you for those flowers. I saw those come in. I striker on this game so much. Oh, nice, Carlos. Now, don't forget, you do have new custom, uh, custom stage fatalities. Striker's a mad problem on this game because of some collision problems, but he's get throughable. Genova, that sounds very tasty. All right, we're looking good across all the realms. But this was the Mortal Kombat had no Scorpion. When this came out back in the day, we just did not know where Scorpion was. Oh, nice, April. Seeing if I could get that, I didn't think so. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with an audio mixer. But, uh... We got it. James Benton, thank you very, very much for the 145 stars. You want some Optimus Prime? That's a prime screen, my friend, and that is a prime donation on the channel. And you get a hell yeah from Stone Cold Steve Austin. James Benton, I'm in your debt. My name is Optimus Prime. And James, I'm going to give you a pork rind too, good sir, because that's just darn kind of you right now. I appreciate you. Pork rind. Kung Lao was a, uh, oh, by the way, I didn't realize you can get those, some of those skins in the new Mortal Kombat one shop. Kung Lao's skin. Uh, Kung Lao, uh, my guy Chuck mentioned Kung Lao. Kung Lao's skin in MK1 is actually available in the, uh, how much time? I think I have to keep the braces on the rest of my life. I'm not sure. They've been on almost four years. But Allison, thank you for the 200 stars. Howdy, hello. How are you doing today on today's show? By the way, we got a big surprise. If we hit that star party today, uh, I do have a big new surprise for y'all with a download link. There is a new Mortal Kombat that I came across today, and it is amazing. It's a, a bonus game that we'll be doing today if we hit that star party. Allison, this is going out to you. I appreciate you. Where is my Bubbles Cat? 
You want to play a Scorpion? James, I'm sorry. Scorpion's not available in this game today, sir. This is non-Scorpion Mortal Kombat. Genova, thank you very much for the $2 super chat. I really appreciate you. You want Sindel? All right, if you're just stopping into the channel for the first time, we got a star party active in the chat. We hit the star party, it automatically adds a, adds a half hour to the stream clock. We will go to our bonus game today, which is a special Mortal Kombat beat em up game that I discovered. And it's got a download link we'll be releasing as well. Trey, thank you, my brother. Sindel's on this. Sindel's on this. The bikini open? No, I don't. Was that a play on SpongeBob? I could say something about SpongeBob, but uh, it's gonna. I don't want to be exiled from society if I say what I'm gonna say about SpongeBob. Uh, Christopher Welch, how you doing, buddy? Trey, thank you for the star love. Going towards our star party challenge. Trey wants to see this bonus game. Let's go ahead and do a little dance. Genova with a $2 super chat. Genova, I was waiting for it to come pop up your alert, but it didn't. So I'm just going to give you this. Thank you for knocking $2 super chat. Thank you, Genova, over on YT. I've never seen an episode of SpongeBob. So. Never seen an episode of SpongeBob. Is that. Oh, this guy sucks. Kano's crazy. Sub Zero is a great request, James. That's a great request. There we go. Pop. 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 Excellent. Kid Jackson, welcome in once again. I hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for being in here with us. It was for time. Oh, you want to add some time to the clock, Genova? I will add that on for you, my friend. Want some Kano? Yo, Chuck going towards our Star Party Challenge. Chuck is testing the might. Is this modded MK3? John, welcome into the show. Yeah, kind of. This is a Mortal Kombat Mugen game. It's built on uh, the Mugen engine, and you have new stage fatalities. You got a new brutality like that right there. Chuck, you're a legendary individual thank you for the love and support on the show We're going towards the star party do i remember go bots yeah i remember a uh i don't know how big the update was i just made sure that if my, my playstation thank you for the star stray i don't know how big the update was yo christopher and michael coming through y'all ain't gonna believe this game today i actually found a couple games today Yo, thank you for the love and support, man. We hit that Stars Party Challenge. Oh, these rubber bands are tight. Oh, my gosh. Allegedly, these braces are supposed to be off in the next year. That's what they told me. They were going to take it off uh, a month ago, but they said not. Yo, we got some big thank yous to go out after these alerts go off. New maps on Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Ooh, James, that'd be amazing, brother. Yo, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Trey. Michael and Christopher, you are absolutely legendary. I'm trying to discern if I, uh... Oh, we need to do Celebrity Deathmatch as a bonus one day. All right, now I'm not going to make y'all wait any further for this download link. So, we hit the Star Party Challenge. We're going to be adding a half hour to the clock. We got some big thank yous to go out here. What's up, Gerardo? Thank you. Ultimate Mortal Kombat. D's an amazing game. Trey, this is going out to you once again. You get yourself some food. I've been playing the ish out of this game. Yo, and my guy dropped 2,700 stars. That is a lot of stars to go to the arcade with. You are giving me butterflies, Michael. Welcome into the show. Greetings. Hello. Thank you for that. Christopher, you definitely deserve the fireworks. What's up, Killface? Welcome in on Twitch, my friend. Christopher wants to feed the trees. I say we do feed those trees. It is going well, Jessica. Welcome into the stream. I appreciate you visiting with us today as we are getting through the stream on Mortal Kombat 3. This is a game that... In appearance, does it look like a... Does it look like a 30-year-old game? You think? Monterance, the old-school gamer. I like that name. Does it look like a 30 year old, 29 year old game? All right, I'm not gonna make y'all wait any longer. So this download link, uh, shoot, should I just tell you? So this is a beat-em-up game. Yeah, I'll just tell you as soon as I can find it. 
So this is a beat em up game and you now have four characters. Reptile is now in Mortal Kombat Outworld Assassins Remix. Now we're gonna be taking a look at this game later on today. I'm adding some uh, another half hour to our clock here. I appreciate you legends watching with us today. And we do have a huge unboxing today as well to get into. So make sure you jump on that like and share train. Hang out with us today. We're going to be doing character requests across all the realms. So if you have a character request, let me know. Old school is the best. It's just crazy that it's been uh, 30 years almost. 29 years for Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Or for uh, Mortal Kombat 3. What's up, Frederick? Who can tell me uh, when the... Oh, wait a minute. We're about to lose. All right, also, as a punishment for each and every one of you. Yeah, we got a surprise unboxing. You can thank Luco for that, too. What's up, Drew? We're also going to be dipping into these uh, magical beans here. We're going to go ahead and do the Bean Boozle Challenge. One of these is, uh, well, I got two of them. That's unacceptable. I just put them both back. Son of a gun. All right, so this is either mint or this is either berry blue or toothpaste. Let's find out. What's up, Drew? How you doing today? Don't forget, exclamation point, play, put a space, get those character requests in. One of you will get selected for the offline tower. Oh. Oh my god. It's toothpaste. Hey, Quan Chi, thank you for the 100 stars, you legend. Yo, all Quan Chi, I'm gonna hit you with a bunch of Quan Chi. Yo, Quan Chi. What do you think of that new skin that came into Mortal Kombat 1? That is a nice looking skin. This is going out to Quan Chi, my guy. Thank you so very much. I'm actually, that was so nice. I'm going to hit you twice. Now they're being boozled. Oh, you just grab Deadly Lines for Xbox? You can still play that online if, uh... Oh, so! The jacket that I'm wearing is a scorpion jacket. One of you where it's going to be a top three star center is going to get this. But how about the announcement that Scorpion's female version? So Harumi is confirmed for Mortal Kombat 1 as a cameo? Do you think they mean that she might be a skin for cameo Scorpion? That's what I think they mean. I don't understand how they could do that. That's what I'm wondering, Terrence. Is it just a female skin for Cameo Scorpion? Because we already got a Cameo Scorpion. How many Cameo Scorpions can we possibly need? Where's Dragon? Uh, I have to do a friendship. I mean, a mercy for that. I mean, a, uh, I got to do a mercy into animality to do the uh, that right there. Yo, Trey, thank you very much for the love on the show, man. It's time to shove some nerds into lockers. It's on. That's going out to Trey. Very aggressive star screen. Are you, oh, Julius, you want to do, we can do MK1 uh, today if you want. I think uh, we might have to be on early a couple days this week because I got to go to a wedding later this week and I got to go to my family on Friday night. Get to meet with, oh, I got to go meet my family on Friday night and they also, I get to hit them up to babysit my cat. Fight. Using the wire controller works. That's good stuff, man. I don't know why it does it sometimes. Yo, Dead Ink just raided us. Is anybody going to be opposed to me redoing the alerts? Now we got to do some damage to our con of the realm here. Hang on. Is it? Yeah. Do I have a favorite star screen? Yeah. Fatality. I'm going to play it for y'all right now. Thank you. That's my favorite star screen. 100%. Eddie Guerrero has kind of got like a. Uh, I, there's a lot there. Fight. Very, very. New MK1 4K. What is the update that I saw for the new 4K graphics on MK1? I saw that somewhere. What's up, Mark? Good to see you. Hey, Dead Ink, welcome in. Man, we're about to die. I promise you that. Eddie was a good egg, man. Allison, thank you for the metal kitties. Kentaro. I mean, is he limited how many characters he can add? I made sure to become a uh, Patreon for Ermacker 100% because I saw the work going in and I'm like, oh my gosh. 
Allison, thank you for summoning some itty bitty metal kitties. I appreciate that. That was just, that was a uh, very tough day. By the way, Mortal Kombat for Atari is out. I mean, a Mortal Kombat for Atari uh, Jaguar is out. So if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat or Atari Jaguar, Mortal Kombat 1 on the Atari Jaguar has released. I might change off of Liu Kang. I'm gonna try it one more time because I'm stubborn as hell. Rocker cats, particles off. I'm not taking any particles off during this stream. I'm not that type of stream. No, um, space cats, space cats are cute. Play Pong. Not a lot of people refer. I need to play Pong one day in Mortal Kombat because not a lot of people remember you could do that. Make that a. Uh... Oh, StarCraft. Kid Jackson, did you ever. Uh, I think I asked you this before, but did you ever play uh, Ghostbusters online? I must have missed your answer if you told me because I, I haven't figured out what the hell I'm doing on that online. I don't think it's the campaign. I think you're just running around busting ghosts. Smoke, please! It's the alpha version. Yeah, you know, it's no. It's... Like, yeah, yeah. Ermacker is the true Willy Wonka of Mortal Kombat. My, that dude's going crazy. Oh, Michael, you got it, man. You got one of the hardest characters in the game, but you got it, my guy. What's up, Jeffrey? Jay, welcome in. What would Mortal Kombat Armageddon and Deception play like on the Sega Game Gear? Oh. Uh, not not the, uh, we ain't doing it with smoke. Uh, we ain't doing that with Jax just yet. Jax is very hard on this game. I almost upgraded him. I wonder if I can find my home edit. I did one edit for this project where I actually swapped Jax out low-key for live streaming with an absolute OP version of Jax. He was so unbalanced, it was absolutely crazy. <laughs> he was an absolute nightmare on the entire game. Like, give me one second. I got to do a little bit of damage to Arcana of the Realm over here. Shout out to Terry Goodman. Terry did select yesterday to get a Dark Raiden Tower. So what I did is I did all Dark Raiden fatalities from, or brutalities from Mortal Kombat 11. And then uh, I just was also testing to see how it performed. I don't really know what I'm doing on Ghostbusters Online. It's fun, but I think I'm just busting ghosts. I was hoping you could do the, uh... That's me doing that damage up there. Like, on Resident Evil, you can play that campaign online, and it is a lot of fun. Because you can get help from people that are better than you. They nerfed Raiden during his own season. I mean... You see that hit detection that Liu Kang has? Jax doesn't have that, but we're going to be going to Jax here in just a moment. He's one of the tough characters on this game. I'll show you how to win with him, though. There we go. There we go. Ermac is a lot of fun on Mortal Kombat 1. Somebody asked me about Ermac a little bit ago. Ermac is a hell of a good character on Mortal Kombat 1. I'm seeing people asking for buffs, all right. He's got a lot of crazy cancels and stuff that he can do. He's going to be a super powerful character. Oh, I like Luigi's Mansion. We almost got through it. Well, we got through the first level and a half. I mean, I didn't get much further than that because uh, it was... I don't know. I got stuck. I, there was like a door or something I couldn't figure out. It was fun. Um, it was hard, though. Luigi's Mansion, Luca was asking about on Facebook. 25 gigabytes don't well, forget Mortal Kombat 1 every time it crashes on PC takes up one gigabyte I don't know where that goes somebody remind me on here where does that go what's up Jordan how you doing today when you're when your Mortal Kombat 1 PC version crashes where does it go uh, that one gigabyte crash file because I don't have it, like, I've never deleted them, but I know it does store a one gigabyte crash file every single time it crashes. Was it a long game? I didn't make it very far. 
Will Mike Tyson's Punch Out get new DLC? No, but it's a new. It's a crime that Nintendo Switch didn't make a, a Punch Out version that you use the Joy Cons to literally like you know punch with. Like that's just I'm just lost why they didn't do that. Maybe it was maybe it was tough to do. I don't know, but that's what I would have done. I would have made Punch Out on the Nintendo Switch with where you use the Joy Cons to punch. That'd suck if Cyra actually. Well, is this it? Oh, is this it? Yes. What's going on, Darnell? You want VR for MK Trill? Mortal Kombat. You can play Mortal Kombat on VR right now. It just looks like you're playing on a movie theater screen. What's up, Abe? Good to see you. And also, there's a little bit of like input delay, but maybe I just need to get the Meta Quest to run everything through the VR. I think that might be the best. All right, I think we can go. We're going to be going to Jax on our next run. And I don't care how we do it. We're going to have to make it work. Jax is the guy that on this game, there's a couple characters. Shang Tsung is one of them, too. He's got little T-Rex arms. I didn't work. All right, crap. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I don't know where the file's stored at, though, is what I'm getting at. Uh, that's what I mean. What's the next Nintendo console's gimmick gonna be, I think? Oh, we're gonna die on this. Yeah, we're probably gonna die. Mortal Kombat Advance with better everything? Well, it'd be hard for Mortal Kombat Advance to have worse of everything. It wasn't the premier game. Uh... Buy two, get one off. GameStop, Nintendo Switch. Shang is your favorite. Shang's got little T-Rex arms on this game, but he, he does his thing, man. He gets in there and he mixes it up. He does, he tries. So how's everybody doing out there today? Don't forget, let me know where you're watching from. I'm Preacher, where are you at in the world? I don't think I've gotten your location. Francisco, I'm trying to zoom. I know you're down in the Southern, you're down in Cape uh, Hope, right? Southern Tiff, uh, Africa, I think. James Benton, you're in Alabama, right? Wait. Yo, I forgot. Don't get in the corner with this Shao Kahn. I forgot. Do you play it online? Oh, uh, James. You're in Philly? Nexus of Headlock Gaming. You stopped the GameCube? Boy, they just started making their controllers weirder and weirder, didn't they? <laughs> I just can't wait to see, like, the next Nintendo controller is going to be like a bodysuit that you put on and, like, you know. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, you, online in general, I think, is somewhat a mess still. Like, I, I don't, I don't under, I can't understand it, but I still feel like the peak, Allison, thank you so very much. I still, like, feel like the peak of technology was, like, early 2000s i haven't quite put my finger on it as to why that is i've said it before don't get me wrong the future is now but the future is kind of janky isn't it like why was i late today oh yeah this is the headphones we should have been on a half hour ago but the headphone kept cutting out i said it was out of range i'm sitting right here at the desk allison thank you for the 50 stars i appreciate that nathan thank you for 25 months after forwarding Shao Kahn in the past, Liu Kang finds himself the main target of Khan's extermination squad. But Kang is the reigning Mortal Kombat champion, proves it easily by defeating him. It's the apparent death of his friend Kung Lao that enrages Kang and enables him to find the strength to defeat Shao Kahn. And then the portal closes. Liu Kang is greeted by Princess Katana and thanked for saving Earth and Outworld. Oh, oh, well, well that sounds kind of exciting. Think they're holding off for VR? Mortal Kombat in 3D was sick. If you didn't get a chance to play that, Mortal Kombat in 3D was really, really nice. Allison, this is going out to you. I do appreciate you dropping the star love. I'm going to give you some itty-bitty DJ kitty. I haven't busted out the DJ kitty in a hot minute. Oh, some of that's my fault, Ray. That's, uh, I knew I was going to blow up the channel today because I posted that video this morning. I was half testing. Like, I bombed the morning video this morning, bombed out because it wasn't. That's why I say it's easier to do like a theme channel of all classic MK. I'd be better off doing my uh, new stuff on my other pages. 
Yo, Darnell with the 99 stars. You made it in here just in time to see me get absolutely cooked. Mark says today's his last day off, only 72 degrees in Woodbridge. That's a good degrees, I would say. Darnell, this is going out to you. You sit back on the couch, you put your, you feet, put your up feet up, and you, and you relax, because you're, you're going to witness the perfect game. And our co-host just joined us on the desk, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I added the co-host cam, because sometimes the co-host would come up here and plop on the desk and become a nuisance and you couldn't see. Oh, I forgot to close the window. You locked in, buddy? Uh oh. Don't make me That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted the long one here. Hang on. Well, we'll, all right. We'll do this. Let's go. No regrets. First character is the hardest character. That's good. This is good. This is the hardest character right out of the gate. Taki's getting fluffy, man. What's up, OGZ? Good to see you. Thank you for supporting over on the kick side of things. Okay, Jax. Okay. No regret. What a great movie that was, Ray. How are you uh, feeling today? Darnell, thank you again for the 99 stars. Fight. Might be gloves controller. Don't forget. We Let's go. I messed it up. Yeah, Taki's locking in for something. Hey, Rico, thank you. Here's oh, I just knocked that. Yo, that was satisfying as hell. Sir. This is going out to Rico. Rico, thank you very, very much for the fireworks. That goes directly to Taki's stomach. Not your boy. Your boy is on an incredible strict diet. By the way, I do want to just point out that I have been feeling way... I don't know what it is about just drinking straight water. What the fuck was that? My whole game system froze. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but my whole thing just locked up. Don't remember Kazam? I remember the videos about it saying that it was a real thing. I don't know, but, uh... <laughs> Playing games with us tonight? What are we getting down on? What's up? I do like to open up the chat so I can watch a stream on my cell phone like as y'all see it. Sometimes I used to put an earbud in so I could listen to it, but I often like to make sure I'm not missing any comments or anything. Like, where's the thumbs up from? I didn't... No, Darnell, thank you. So the thumbs up doesn't show up in these two main chats. So when I stream, I, I pop my chat out and I put it into OBS. That's how you start off. We're doing all right here. Let's go on out to Michael Diener. Let's not screw this up. Shallow Monks didn't sell well, and I hope it's... I hope that one day they maybe try to fix it. You don't have your piston punches on this. You do not have your move, so... Uh, you want to you want to try online sometime, bro? I would I would love to do some online sometime. Like the next gift? You didn't send me a bag of dicks, did you? Facebook recommended me that recently. Like, why do you want? It? There we go. You can do the fatalities easy way or the hard way. Yo, thank you for the flowers. I appreciate that. Fatality. No, Ray. I knew um, when I when I saw that video this morning, tanked out. I was like, oh, we're gonna be low on the. Because people aren't used to seeing the newer stuff. Now the Bob Ross channel for the cat has not been working lately. It's been a. Uh... It's been unfortunately like a. Uh... Reese company and all this. Puzzle combat was fantastic. It was a team to one to do Shallow Monks too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're beholden to, you know, the Masters and all that, the uh, WB Overlords and all that. They should just make that a job title. The WB Overlords. <laughs> Uh, I'll go on Ultimate Mortal Kombat D if you want to try, my my guy. 
What's up, my friend? Ven is coming in from the Philippines. What is up, my friend? Welcome into Headlock Gaming. We like to celebrate a different Mortal Kombat every single day. Hey, Rico, I hope you're having a beautiful day out there as much as possible. Take care of yourself. Thank you for the love, Rico. Got your bones aching, rain and humidity. Oh yeah, Joshua, I was wanting to go like that's that that does help with like like the stars help with travel. I'm looking at combo breaker still, man. I know I said I was probably off a of combo breaker, but I'm still kind of looking at it. But there's a lot of tri I have two family reunions this year. Family first. Uh CEO I'm gonna be going to, I think. West Coast or East Coast throwdowns coming up. Yeah, I have competed before, but. Michael, this is going way better than I expected. Let's go. All right, we got this guy. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Ray Sean, how's the day going, yo? I'm going to be redoing stickers again soon, too. Oh, thank you. Yo, what's up, combo? Appreciate you, Luco. Please don't do this to me, lady. <gasps> that was my fault. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, Noah. The Shallow Monks 2 was planned. It was going to be uh, Fire and Ice. But they gave us MK versus DC instead in a tragic turn of events. In a cruel twist of fate, Shallow Monks 2 became MK versus DC. That's a true story. That's rough. That is rough to think about. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. That's true, though. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks 2 was uh, scrapped in order to uh, come out with Mortal Kombat versus DC. There could be uh, assets out there. How do I like Ermac and MK1? I love Ermac and MK1. Very, very good character. There is a lot to get into. I feel other characters. No, I didn't open it yet. I opened the first box that was in because I was going to cut the package open so I could have it open. I sliced it open. I have not opened it, though. Uh, the, the one pack, the one box had another box. Earthquake the Wrestler. Earthquake Anti. This character basically jump kick. If you want to win, just do what I do. If you want to not win, do something else. Yo, he's figured out something different. There you go. Exactly like that. Yo, thank for the massive 1392 follow with uh, Ray with the 888 days, the supportage of 18 months. Legendary. Nah, Ermac's good. He's a full ass character. Wait till you see what he can do. Here's the, here's so, he's got so much stuff. Fudge. There's so much stuff, that character. Oh my heaven. Hey, RJ, you remember that? Okay, we're about to lose. We're getting our, we're getting our, we're getting our. Uh oh, that's not good. Mortal Kombat, I would like to see Mortal Kombat Gold re uh, re released one day. Yeah, I seen that, Jessica. That sucks, man. I hate to see anybody go down like that. Need a stage fatality? All right, how about a brutality into a fatality? Is anybody going? What's up, Frank? Welcome into the show. Oh, exclamation point. Flip that eye upside down. I never noticed that that eye looked like that, like a uh, exclamation point. The smallest things uh, fascinate me as I get older. So today's been a pretty good day. We got a couple things to look at to look into here. I got the box down here from Luco. How you doing today, Frank? We got my friend in here. Ooh, that's a long. Oh, I'll screw it up. Ever the drink god? What's up? Can I just call you the drink god? I don't know how to start that. I appreciate you being here with us today. Howdy, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Is anybody going to these, uh, anybody going to the events? Anybody going to Combo Breaker? Anybody going to any events? I wanted to go to Midwest Classic. Yo, Bob, thank you very much. I'm going to give you the itty bitty space kitty right now because I'm in no rush to get beat up by this dude. And we are absolutely getting stomped. What's up, Jado? How you feeling today? 
I don't think I have the big boot fatality on this. You're going to combo breaker, James? You better stop trip. Are you serious? All right, let me sit up. When I lose, I gotta sit up. And if I lose again, I'm gonna have to stand up. Do y'all ever see the streamers that stream standing up still? That used to be a pretty big thing on Facebook. I don't know if it's still popular. Uh, this is going disheartingly bad. All right, let me try something different. Oh, really, James? That's pretty cool, bud. What's up, Alan? Oh, I'm getting smoked like a fucking ham hock right now. Today's your birthday? Happy, happy birthday from headlock to you. We're the guy that's about dead on the floor. How are you? All right. All right, we got a fight on our hands. Can now don't forget, you want to... Oh, I almost threw my controller on the floor. If you want to get a... Let me get a little more cord. Let me get a little more cord on this. Is there any technology? Fight. Alan, how you doing today? I, yeah, I just... Yo, we got gold arms? Oh, snap. Hold on. That's what I needed. Oh, this is horrible. Damn, he's insane. Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's time. Time, 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 time. That's like the time thing. There's, like, you have to be there. It just doesn't time out right. You gotta, like, time is... That's why it fucking sucks. Son of a bitch. Wins. Round two. Fight. No, it's a time thing. Uh, lot of those tournaments are either, uh, they're on the evenings. Yo, damn it, man. Yo, this cat just says, screw you and your moves. Uh, have y'all ever seen Mortal Kombat Reconciliation? Yo, I don't care. We're going to do it with this character now. I don't care about the chip damage. Combo Breaker is going to be amazing. When is Combo Breaker? Give me the dates on it. Give me the dates. Somebody give me the dates on Combo Breaker. I would love to go to Combo Breaker. It's on my bucket list of things to do. Uh, my main thing is I have this wonderful little person here that I got to take care of. And I'm like, I think my family kind of gets a chuckle about how much I actually look after this cat. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to get like a, uh, like a baby monitor that I can like talk to the cat while I'm gone. You know, that way the cat knows that I'm, and they just all looked at me like, but you know, like, damn Kano. Wait off for once. Oh, I see. I remember now. I remember now. Almost, almost. It's another movie I've not seen. Uh, I've always wanted to see that Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah, E3 is no longer a thing. Shit. Oh, fuck. Yo, baby, said the kitty. Man, this character is so cooked. That's to activate his uh, hit detection, May 24th through the 26th. Gotta stop doing the John Cena hand. I don't know how I got started to do that. Grew up watching John Cena too much, I guess. Go stop with that, stop with that. Mm, Bob, thank you again for the love. How's the weather where you're at, my friend? That's the thing, his collision detection is awful. Stay back. Sure, remember that ET phone home? I did. Wasn't it ET home phone? Yo! Now dig a hole and throw them in it. We're in the graveyard. Oh. I'd be a good stage fatality right there. Told you we get it with him. Give a flipping crap. Hoping some of these storm collectibles figured. Yo, not that. So you don't have your piston punches with this Jax, which is, makes for a. Uh, of course we got it. Frank, what's up, buddy? Yeah, no, it's nothing on your end, my guy. It's nothing on your end. It's uh, FB. So the way that they do, like they've explained it to us, but um, I could go into length on it but it's not on your end 
like i'm trying to think of how to word it thank you from the bottom of my heart for the huge thousand stars uh this is going out to you my guy you were definitely invited to the cookout and i'm even going to throw somebody into the wood chipper for you right here thank you very much from the bottom of my heart so i am looking at make oh i've played three star screens son of a gun i am uh rocking with 4 p.m as our 4 p.m. Eastern is our current, like, scheduled start time due to, like, the setup of five platforms. So, 4 p.m. Eastern, but sometimes I like to come on a little bit early. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern just wasn't going to work with the five platform setup. Now. We did 3 p.m. Eastern for years, but we now are on five platforms. See, I don't have a big boot right there. What's up, Ronaldo? So with the five platforms set up and different things, it's easier to start between like at four o'clock, four p.m. Eastern. But I should have told you in the message. One day I gotta watch Meteor Man. The other thing is they added this thing where it says that like I can boost the post to get people to be more notified. So I think it's related to that. That might be why you're not getting as many. I think they want me to push that button. But uh. Mark, how you feeling today, boss? This is day 697 with us. I tried to put something on y'all would like today. Man, listen, I'm going to be honest. I was ready to play Mortal Kombat 1 Invasions mode. Yo, Frank, thank you very much. The return of the man. Thank you so very much for love and support. You might see us at Combo Breaker. Do you want me to go to Combo Breaker? That's a community thing. You got to remember, if I go to Combo Breaker, that affects us, all of us. We're just a big family here, so... Wherever I go, we go. So that's that's how the uh, operation works here. It's pretty interesting to live your whole life on the internet. Every flawless you do, you drink one glass of wine. How about every flawless I get, you do a push-up. Do I not have any... Yeah, he doesn't have a big boot. May 24th, so it's like a month from now. What's up, Chris? Welcome into the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a month from now. John Wick, I'm surprised, hasn't made it in. Because I think Ed Boone's a huge fan of John Wick. Chris, how's your day going, you legend? Welcome into the stream. That sucked a big one. You know, Parici, I'm going to be honest. When I was an alcohol drinker many years ago, I never got into wine. Maybe it was my, uh, what's up, Woodland? Crown, good to see you. Oh, oh, man, i seen you on another legendary stream recently. I watched you see, what did I see you in? Oh, I saw you over on MKA stream. I was passing through and I was watching MK for a minute. I meant to pop in and say, what's up? But I uh, got I got a squirrel brain, so I like, absolutely forgot. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. I'm about to fire up mk1 hey invasion's a lot of fun now I, I i'm uh i'm really really enjoying the new channel oh that didn't work he fucking got out of it excuse my language oh, damn it. Shit. kick to the face yeah squirrel brain nothing wrong with that squirrels are cute but I wanted to do Mortal Kombat 1 today, no lie. Hey, don't forget, we hit that star party earlier. There's a big surprise bonus in our download link right now. Uh, make sure you get that down. Damn, that doesn't work. Usually you can stagger them with that combo, and then when they block, wait a second, and they'll uh, run into it. He's got a good setup. I like that little... Uh, I gotta go through and look at that project he was doing. Oh, shit. There we go, we got him. That's one of the hardest characters in the game. I like his little alert box that he has, Woodland. The, uh, he said he made it from Armageddon. Like, uh, I don't know what party he made it from, but it's cool looking. You got Shang's memorized already? I was never good with the brutalities. The, uh, the memorization of the brutalities was a, uh, you play MKD, Ultimate Mortal Kombat D online? Ultimate Mortal Kombat Deception. No, nah, there's no one button combos and fatalities for Mugen yet. Uh, I don't know what the progress is. Um, 
Yeah, he's got archive. He's got archive. I was trying to figure out, was that a project by Styx that he was doing, or was that a different? Was that an anthology he did? With, there's a new project of Mugen, or a new project of these uh, that's being worked on through Eichmann engine, a new engine people are using. It might be possible to do in the Eichmann engine for one button combos and fatalities, but I don't know if it is. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. We cooked this game with Jax outside of Kano, who's an absolute nightmare. I always enjoyed Kano's ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 fatality where he ripped- Oh no, you didn't. Just turn into smoke. And High punch, block, 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 high- Oh, that's not too bad. That's, that's really just three, like, five buttons. Okay. He turned into the hardest character. What's up, Kel? Welcome into the show! Okay, one more. Son of a biscuit. Oh, we're fucked. No, he's fucked. <gasps> Yo, he did a move in the combo! That behind the Scorpion? Yeah, 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 Carl, it is true. It's, it's weird how he does that. What's up, Clay? So, I still think that that Scorpion that you see... No, Bihan, yeah, Bihan is Scorpion, but I think Bihan and Kwai Liang are gonna, um, or, no, Scorpion's Kwai Liang. I think they're gonna have a fallout, and, uh, well, they already had it, but. I think one of them's gonna kill the other, and then I think Hanzo Hisashi's gonna take up the Scorpion mantle. Otherwise, Hanzo Hisashi has to become Noob Saibot at some point. Either that or Hanzo Hisashi will have no role in this universe. Because currently Hans... Damn, this is fucking ridiculous. Oh, come on, man. Damn. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, No, there is no noob yet. What's up, Chris? Good to see you. Yo, he's playing like a fucking trainer. Right? Bro, you will never slam this Shang Tsung character. He's already breaking the game. Thank you, Monarchs. God damn it. Look at this. He can't do nothing, man. How do you interrupt my special? That's what I mean. He's already going crazy. He's like busted. Yeah, I remember Good Burger on that. That's what I mean. He's just going haywire. You'll never be able to grab this character. He's already breaking through. What's up, Arik? Welcome into the stream. Like the frame, like he's just. Oh, what is my collision detection? Is it off? What's up, Patrick? Oh, come on, man. That's not even possible to do. Like, that's trash. What's up, Navarrete? Hola, mi amigo. Como estas? Like, he's just cheating. Like, this is absolute. I just. This game sometimes. The other timeline, Scorpion? Well, either that or they gotta go back to the other timeline. The thing is, is they have to... What the fuck? See how janky that was right there? It's like the game will break itself so you can't win. You can't grab them. And you don't have your piston punches. You beat Samurai, Samurai Showdown Arcade? See, it just stopped my combo. Like, I didn't drop that. Now it's just gonna go haywire, no matter what. Fucking hell, man. He's worse than Shao Kahn. Now you do have enhanced uh, brutalities on this too. Well, that's the other thing. Hanzo Asashi's a completely different age. He's like a child. So Hanzo Asashi's like a kid. He's out in the woods. He's just doing his thing. He, he's just like... Not that grab body slam. Uh, what grab body slam are you talking? Which one are you refer? Your will you let me know which one you're referring to, in case I'm missing it. Man, my computer's running like shit. Like, fight. All right, there we go. There it is. Give me one second. I was just checking something. Aha! There we go. 
No, um, are you talking about the suplex? He's got a suplex in some Mortal Kombat Mugen games. That's me doing damage to our Con of the Realm. I'm just keeping up. Shout out to Terry, who is holding the Con of the Realm ship right now. The Bob Ross network is no longer uh, showing the Bob Ross stuff. Uh, it's been showing Three's Company, even though it still says... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's his uh, That's his move, but he doesn't, he doesn't have that. Yeah, 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 you got to do the grab, run up low punch. They actually changed it in Mortal Kombat X and made it a uh, Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 9. That's the problem. Nice. In the face! Do you remember the movie called The Magic Voyage? Um, I don't know if I remember The Magic Voyage. I remember the yellow fight. submarine. Chris, you going to combo breaker, my friend? That's it. MK is best when the colors pop. I feel the new Mortal Kombat games don't have a lot of, uh, Pop to the ah oh, fuck it's not like to do right there. The other new Mortal Kombat characters like they don't stick out from the screen. Like the new MK games, the character there's so much going on in the background and there's so much going on with the characters, outfits and skins that like they don't like. I would have simplified the characters' skins a lot, and I would have made the backgrounds much more intricate to make them pop more. If that makes sense. Bro, this is... It's like my hits barely register. That was a movie, Genova. Absolutely. No! Kick him in the face, kick him in the face. Kick oh, shit. Bring back Alien and Predator. They were good characters. Alien was one of my favorites, man. If you go to playing with Alien on Mortal Kombat X, holy crap. That was a full-on game, too. Mortal Kombat X was insane. Mortal Kombat 11 I played a lot of last night just trying to make that video this morning with Dark Raiden. Don't forget, one of your character requests will be selected for an offline character tower for tomorrow morning. Ebony, hello. Hello, me and fellow streamers. How are you doing today? Doing very, very well. We actually got through this. I would not even Hello. mind if we lost Green this once, because I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to win this with uh, gold arms jacks. But that's just me. Ebony, these ice cream cones are for you and the kids. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Are you working today, or are you at Here home we with go. the kiddos? Thrust. Or are they at school? It's 5 o'clock. They're probably not at school. <laughs> So is there a cam? Is there like a home cam that I can get for cheap? Something that I could get to like put on the floor so when I travel I can like just talk to the cat, or I can like you know what I mean? You want to bring back Freddy, Jason, and Kratos? Ebony, thank you again for the love. Thank you very very much. Nice Woodland got the promotion in the face. Now, you don't want to miss the bonus game today. Yeah. Got him. Let's go. No, they're all different, Sega Truths. Like, like this game in particular, we struggled a little bit because this game's got completely cl hit different jacks. This jack's plays completely different from the uh, Google Nest cams or on Amazon. I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up. I just need something I could put on the floor where I can like turn it on and it will uh, showcase that like I could talk to the cat. Yo, here's the beautiful ending so I don't cut it off for any of you legends over here. Shout out to all you legends up above. Michael, Frank, Ebony, Allison, Christopher, and Bob. Top six star centers on the stream. That's all it'll let me show. Unfortunately, I tried to get more. Dwayne, a beautiful name, my friend. I really like that. Uger, Ebony, thank you for the 500 stars. Thank you for the likes over here. And Emika, thank you for the like on the stream. What's up, JJ? Raiden uh, with the amulet. Uh, he put their amulet down. He realized that it was making him dark and uh, evil and stuff like that. But I liked evil Raiden. I thought he was kind of good. I, I mean, not good, but you know, 
All right, let's go to our character request list here and see if we can. James Ben requested some Sub Zero. Carl with the 1200. My guy, thank you, bro. Appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Allison's got Nightwolf, Christopher for Cyrax. Zeme wants me to play Pong. We did Jax. Yo, thank you for the 1,200 stars. Off work home with the kids. What is going on for dinner tonight? James Benton, you were number one. Let's go with James Benton's request. We're going to get saucy for a minute here. James Benton, this is going out to you. Yo, my dude, thank you for the 1,200 stars on the stream. Everybody duck. If you don't duck, you're going to get your head taken off. Thank you very, very much once again. This is going out to Carl Douglas Roberson coming through. What you did, Zim? No, 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 you're good. You're good. Let me make sure this is. So this, this, this setup's a little bit better for uh. Gordo, I love you. Was that right? I'm so glad we picked this character because I tell you what, man, this dude is a whole pile of absolute anger. I'm gonna do a little more damage to the con of the realm over here. Uh, this is Sector, and he is a pile of anger. Right here. That is me doing that. That when that comes up up above, that's me hitting that. Scared her as well. What's going on, Gaji? You can only do that twice. Stop with that. It's two for Nightwolf. No, Golden Sun, like all their sacred truth. Oh no, these are all I like to compare these. The only thing I can compare them to is the like if you're like if you drink beer or something like that, or you drink wine or you smoke cigars or something like that, they're all different, but it's the same like you know, niche or whatever you would refer to that as. Like there's all different flavors of uh Mortal Kombat Mugen. You got like the ultra hard. Oscar, how's your day going today, buddy? Trilogy's the best. I think Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 I would give that moniker to. Actually, I'd give it to Jujutsu's Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I didn't like the speed of Trilogy. It did run a little... Uh... Golden Colorado! Oh, word? Oh, yo. I thought you were saying Golden Corral. I was... Man, I'm hungry. Okay. What about Michael Myers, Pinhead, and Candyman? Apparently, Michael Myers' team didn't want nothing to do with that in Mortal Kombat. When it's Duo from Duolingo, that's my app right there. We need to just start doing the... I'm going to turn my kick into the translation channel. Or we just do every night we go live on... Ebony, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that so very... Oh, Ebony just became the Conness of the Realm. Ebony... Congratulations and welcome in once again on top of the throne. Welcome in as the Con S of the realm. Good to see you once again. Hang on one second. We got to go over here and do one thing. We got us a new Con S of the realm, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Ebony sniped that too. I used to work at Golden Corral. I can tell you anything you need to know about that place. Ebony, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. We have a new Con S in the building. Right there, you see it. Down here, you see it. A new Con S has come in. Where is the screen? Have a seat on the throne. Put on the crown. You look fantastic. I hope you're sitting down and relaxing over there today too, Ebony. Yo, my guy got an eight dollar an hour raise. We go back in time, play an arcade. What MK would you play at arcade? Mortal Kombat 2. Mortal Kombat 2. Mortal Kombat 1's got all my nostalgia for the audio and seeing it for the first time. But Mortal Kombat 2 just it just as a multiplayer game. That, that, that was a time in my life I'll never forget, man. I'll never forget. I don't even know what I did in seventh grade. I have a class in seventh grade. <laughs> what was that class? I really don't know what the class was. It was my first class that I do. It, it, I wasted seventh grade playing Mortal Kombat. I'm trying to think. So when I would get to school, I would just have Mortal Kombat moves list in my backpack. And I would just be sitting in class with a bag full of Mortal Kombat move lists and a bag full of these blue candies called Kablooies. 
and they were both for sale for 50 cents. I wasn't even going to school. Yeah, GG's on the $8 raise. Holy Moses, that's huge. You get a star screen for that. Yo, send Collector to pick up, celebrate that right there. But uh, yeah, I used to sell Mortal Kombat move lists and these little candies that would turn your whole mouth blue called Kablooey. Do you the Golden Corral employees? No, uh, you can take some, well, it depends on your management team, but Golden Corral donates all their food, and I've never seen how much. They have a donation program in restaurants. Somebody help me out. I know we got somebody in the food service industry that knows about this. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but at the end of the day, they take trash bags, and they fill trash bags with the leftover food. And, or not, no, I'm sorry, not, no, 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 they sort it, they sort it. Uh, no, they sort it out, that's right, they sort it out. The unused food gets sorted, and it gets weighed, and it gets uh, added to, they give it to food banks and stuff like that, and they use it to feed the homeless. So, like, whatever they can save from the buffet, and every night, the amount of food that I saw go out was insane. I mean, they were donating tons of food to golden corral i mean absolutely tons of food but a lot of places do that right. luke Kang does sound crazy james benton this is going out to you my guy i appreciate you ebony do you have a character question you'd like to see today for the kids or for yourself luke Kang does sound crazy when he goes uh seventh was core does anybody know what those blue candies are that are called Kablooies? Don't forget, we got a surprise unboxing today, too. We got 500 comments already? That's what's up. Stop it, Striker. Striker used to be your favorite. What until I was a live streamer that I, uh... Michael, I meant to message you back that night, man. I ended up falling asleep. Michael, did you get to the part in that interview on Striker where he was talking about that story? He just did an interview recently, and he talked about seeing these kids playing the arcade. And they were playing, like, and he walked up and he's like, who's the cool characters in the game? And they said all, like, the cool characters. And he's like, who's the worst in the game? And this is the actor for Stryker. And he said that the kids turned around and said, Stryker, Stryker sucks. Nah, you don't have ground freeze in this. Does nobody know the name of that food program? Uh, Red Lobster used to do the same, too. Like, I used to make tons of stuff at Red Lobster, and every morning, the very first thing you do when you go into Red Lobster is you take all the prepped food that uh, is almost about to pass its, like, use-by date, which I want to point out. Like, if it says use-by three days, you got, like, ten days for that. Genova says Red Lobster fell off. I will tell you what happened to Red Lobster. Red Lobster was... Darden was the parent company that, well, Red Lobster became Red Lobster, okay? After Red Lobster became Red Lobster, Red Lobster became very successful. And they spawned a company called Darden, which was the parent company of, uh, no, 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 it wasn't reuse code. No, 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 like, if you have, like, uh, what I was saying, Sacred Truths, is they would donate, uh, like, if they had, if they had food in the back that wasn't, like, portioned out that was gonna be served, but wasn't cooked or anything like that. Like, if you have five steaks in the back in the kitchen that need to be used uh, within a certain time and the restaurant has to get rid of them, they don't throw them away anymore. They they donate them to shelters and stuff. I haven't played with Shrike with uh, Shijinko yet. You made me lose my thought. I don't remember. Oh, the Red Lobster. I do remember the Sega Pico. But when Red Lobster made Darden, so Darden then bought... Um, they then made Olive Garden, they made Longhorn. So all these different restaurants, Seasons 52, like all these different restaurants were part of Darden. Beautiful feud. Darden's a great company. I still I, I still have Darden training in me to this day. Um, But Darden ended up selling Red Lobster in early 2014 or 2012, I believe. And after they did that, it was just, it, it's not been the same. Also, you haven't lived until you waited tables at Red Lobster. That's great training for anybody with balance issues. Fuck. 
What I mean by that, Terry, what's up, brother? Yo, good to see you. What I mean by that is you carry a tray of drinks like this on your hand. It's probably why I got that lump on my hand, too. But if you're a server at Red Lobster, some of their bar drinks are so tall. I got that. How many of you have played with Ermac? Hey, what's up, Drew? How you feeling today? So what is the community's review of Ermac so far in Mortal Kombat 1? He's got some crazy stuff that he can do. I really don't like seafood that much anymore. I've had so much seafood, like uh, 777 Rock Truck. Nah, I don't like... I, 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 like, I like blending in on the road. <laughs> Ermac is a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. He's got a lot of stuff that, uh... Mad about Ermac. He's play so weird and stiff. Yeah, they always like making him, uh... That was a suplex? Oh, the double suplex. Yeah, but you have to run in. You gotta hit him with a low grab. Oh, potatoes! You get 50 with Natar with Ermac, can't do it, no problem. I'll send you a combo. It depends who you get for your cameo. You can rock with, uh, after his demon grab, you can rock with Scorpion, that demon that grabs you and pops you up. Uh, you can do a Scorpion pop-up after that. Yeah, no, I used to love seafood. I just had it so much that it's like, uh... I did everything at Red Lobster for years, man. I, I, I was at Red Lobster for, I think, 13 years. I still bleed the Darden training. Darden is a very good trainer. It actually, they, they actually got me other jobs. Like, just being part of Darden actually can help you get other jobs elsewhere in the service industry. What's up, JB? Welcome into the show. We're about to die. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Or Max, a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. I, well, I wanted to do some more Mortal Kombat 1 today with Ermac, but I didn't think y'all would want to do that, so. Let me a little bit. Oh, I was about to look at it and do it. I almost made it to the 13th. We are getting very close to this being the longest I've ever done. That was that, that was the longest I'd ever been at any worse. Like, this, this now has overrun pretty much the streaming thing has now become almost the uh, t-bone is in the building what's up terry good to see you over on the twitch machine movado cameo comes out next month and 64 is fun but i don't think anybody would work. like it doesn't perform well like it's good for a bonus but those those just don't perform well for like two hours because they're just not the best looking and they're not uh Wow, weather. Lindsay Lou Eventide Gaming with the 1500 stars. Lindsay, welcome into the show. Thank you, yo. Yo, you got. Thank you for the input. Why didn't I show your stars? Lindsay, thank you very, very kindly. I appreciate that. This goal is thrilled. Yo, we're going to send the dog to go get that coin, too. Thank you very, very kindly. Ba ding! What's up, Super Vegeta? Good to see you, Goon. How are you doing? Invasions is where you get everything, and I want to blast through invasions, because the thing is, is as a content creator, like, I like to chronicle everything. Like, all my game time is live. Like, with the mad stat, you sound hip with that, JB. I gotta change my vernacular, man. I gotta, I gotta talk more like JB with the mad stacks that's that sounds much hipper most users mkxl mkxl is a great game goon how are you feeling today good to see you terry how's everything going today taki is resting comfortably the uh 24 7 bob ross network has uh i don't know i don't know how you pronounce that what's that no, I was going to put Mortal Kombat 1 on today again, because I was like, yo. What's up, My Hey, Michael, how fun is Ermac, bro? He, dude, like, to be honest, how about Janet Cage? She's fun. I just, 
like I'll be honest, like some of the characters, like I pick, I, I rock with Serena a lot because I feel like Serena actually like matches the character. Like y'all ever seen a couple that just looked like goofy? Like I just feel weird with some of my cameos running around. Like Ashra with Sector Cyrax. I'm just like, yeah, it is like why is this robot tagging along Ashra? Stage fatality. 36, that's a good age, my friend. That was about the time I stopped making horrible decisions. <laughs> 36 is a lot of fun, JB. I hope you're having good fun out there, my guy. Safe good fun. Allison, thank you for hanging out. The kids are waking up from the nap. Oh, that is amazing. I got to get a star screen of some of uh, those old nap mats for the kids that they used to do. Allison, thank you very, very much. Some Bubbles Cat going out to you. Good morning, Carrie. Welcome into the show. Going to have to go. They call Thanks Superman soups. Yes, now they do. Have a good one. That's because, uh... <laughs> All the time of your job, for real. Oh, can you take cats? Uh, people fly with pets. We gotta find out. You think Taki'd be good with flying? This boy, what? Bubbles cat. Now I did find out the other day, like uh. Well, yeah, because they're demons. Ashra and Serena are demons, and it just it looks be like more aesthetic. Like I like to put Ashra with Quan Chi because it looks like two menacing figures in there, you know, as opposed to like you know. And Janet Cage is meant to be like kind of a goofy, like here's Janet, you know, like longest combo I can do with Scorpion. Uh, Sub Zero, what am I doing? On this, I believe. Well, max damage is where you're gonna land at on this. There we go, there we go, there we go. Wins. So can you do, uh, can, like, how do people, has anybody ever flown with a pet on a plane? I'm about to take Taki to combo breaker. That pet carrier. What do they do if they pee on the plane? How in the world do they do that? If you have a pet, wait, can I do it here? No, oh, can I do it here? They are pet friendly hotels. Amazing, amazing places. Uh, on this, at your max damage. No, nah, I wouldn't take Taki flying. Taki's, uh, not unless it has a window. Taki at E3 would be cute. Oh. Fight. I don't know about that. Yeah, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, there was a tremendous... Yo, what's up, Steven? Top of the day, bottom of the morning, middle of the afternoon. Welcome into the Mortal Kombat 3. Look back at the roster. I've never seen that movie, Snakes on a Plane. I really want to see that. There's so many good movies that I want to check out. Steven, you get my favorite star screen. Gracias, my friend. Gracias. I got to get a different label for the uh, Eddie Guerrero title that I have on that. It's not accurate. Happy hump day, everybody. Now, we were going to do Mortal Kombat Armageddon today. We were going to do Invasions again today, but I didn't know if y'all would be down for Invasion. Michael, are you going to Combo Break? You said you're not, right? Okay. RIP to Eddie, man. That's my favorite star screen because uh, Eddie's just a good egg. What's up, Crestline? Snakes on a plane is okay. Man, they found a snake down here in Florida the other day. Uh, like, y'all have seen the movie Anaconda, right? If I charter a private plane. Headlock Gaming is doing all right, my friend. But we're not really doing private plane good right now. Like, you know, we got to... Headlocked in Earth 2 might be doing that, but... Uh, doing ceo fatality i might go check that out i'm in tallahassee no i'm a bad floridian i'm uh down by tampa area nobody would know when if i said where i'm at you'd be like where's that so we just say tampa florida to outsiders has four areas we got tallahassee florida uh, orlando and miami 
So you're from one of those four regional areas. It was the giant, it was the largest snake. It was a record, record sized snake caught in Florida. And this thing looked like something straight out of a horror movie. Like, if you ran into this, like, you, you, you were not getting this on your own. Uh, and if you, you, you. Like, when you, like, when you see this snake that they caught in Florida, you, you're not taking a shovel and trying to get rid of the snake. That snake's coming with a shovel at you. Cane toes get pretty big. So, how many of you got a chance to check out Ermac? Now, we are going to be doing a bonus today. Don't forget, we got a surprise bonus. We found a new Mortal Kombat game for y'all. 20-footer? I don't know. That thing was girthy as all hell, man. That thing looked... What's he been eating? Like, alligators? Pole? How do you get that big as a snake? This is going out to each and every one of you. Friendlies in San Bernardino? We're just going to do a little bit of damage to the con of the realm over here. Let me see if this works. It's going to work. Okay, it's working. There we go. Now we get to the most fun character on the game. So the beat-em-up that we got is uh, a beat-em-up that is in the link tree right now. There is no waiting for it. The link tree is got the download link. They can eat deer whole. Oh, dear. There you go. Smoke's doing smoke things. Oh, my heaven. You doing good down here, Cat? Taki's passed out snoozing. I don't mean to pat you and wake you up. What's up, game over? My clothes are looking very Cyrax. So what do y'all think of Harumi, though? Harumi's been confirmed as a cameo for Mortal Kombat 1. Michael, what do you think of that? Is this going to work? Yes. Delay it just a minute, and he'll fall for it. Yep. Yep, delay it just a minute, and he'll fall for it. Harumi, which is scorpion. It's a female scorpion. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a skin for the scorpion. Like, is it going to be a skin for the scorpion cameo? Or is this a full-on new cameo character? The voice, the, the face model went on Twitter, on uh, Instagram last night and revealed all this. And just dropped a whole bunch. Like, yo, it's going to be, I'm, I'm the face model of Harumi. I'm coming to Mortal Kombat 1. Like, all this stuff came out. I don't know if they were supposed to say all that, but... I'm guessing it was coordinated. What's up, Pentagon Rapper? I'm assuming it was coordinated. Because they literally, like, she just came out and she just said all this stuff. Like, she's going to be doing the face of Harumi, which is the female scorpion. Ah, uh, cameos are... I see why they did what they did. They were trying to make a, uh, if you, they wanted to make a game, Ed Boon discussed it, he wanted to make a game, what's up, Hitman, top of the day, bottom of the morning, middle of the afternoon, how goes it, it's going well, my brother, <gasps> high five, Florida Man Stories, yeah, oh, have I ever been one of those Florida Man Stories that we can hear about, fight, um, yeah, Harumi. D Hitman, did you hear about Harumi coming? Uh, really? Allegedly, it's not allegedly, it's confirmed now. Apparently, Hitman, they got Harumi is confirmed as a Mortal Kombat 1 cameo. Is... Oh, you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player? I just got some Yu-Gi-Oh games on PSP I was trying to put together for a uh, viewer. And uh, I'm going to be revealing Lovell's custom console that he won last month very, very soon. I had to put some extra work into it. So there's a PSP game called Yu-Gi-Oh! Something Fighter 5. Yeah, the uh, actress for her face model went on Instagram and uh, Fight. went crazy. Like, mentioned went not go crazy. But, uh, Tag Duel 5, yes. How did... Bro, do you need an analog stick to play that game? I can't get past the main menu. I got it on the PlayStation Classic, running, but I can't get past the main menu. It won't let me do anything. I'm guessing I have to oh, do something with that. Oh, thank you, Merc. Yo, Merc, cheers. Appreciate that. 
I don't think it works because I reached out to another modder and I was like, yo, help me get this game to work. And they were like, that game won't work. It won't work. And I was like, I was like, okay, I didn't ask. I didn't ask why, but they were like, that game just doesn't work. But I got it on a PS3 to try and test it on a PS3 and it still didn't work. Yo, my guy, thank you for getting a supporter badge. This is going out to you. Thank you for 13 months. Oh, it's on now, Merc. Nerd's going into lockers. Very aggressive star screen. Very aggressive, thank you. Uh, do you yo, Hitman, I should put that on as a bonus today because my gosh, man, I was sitting there at the main menu and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Like, it was just bonkers. <laughs> Now, does anybody like VR? Uh, is there any VR games out there that y'all recommend that you would like to see us do one day? Uh, we're going to be doing some VR stuff possibly in the next six months with some VIP supporters. If you're a subscriber on the Facebook page, our YouTube members, our Facebook subscribers, and I'm going to see if I can do Twitch exclusive streams for the Twitch members, but we may be introducing some VR here very, very soon. Don't do that. That's wrong. Oh, right, Carl, what's up, buddy? This is Billy Rodriguez and Fabian Arist Mugen version, which gives us some new stages, new brutalities. Two things. No tag force questions answered. Can't because I played back in the day. Checking it in years. Oh, no, it's I, I was just uh, lost on it. What's up, Colin? Good to see you. Ebony, you look fantastic of the Connors of the Realm. When looking for your controls, I play the Yugo game and two you can twitch sub. Oh, nice! Ooh, that's fancy. What's up, Lee Joshua? Fight. Blaze Blues. Uh, uh, how is that game? A lot of games are really overtaking Mortal Kombat in the uh, Mortal Kombat seeing a resurgence, though, man. You can't keep MK down, man. It's just like people don't die in MK. It's uh, Sharknado Seven. What Sharknado had Kurt Angle in it? I always wanted to see that sh that Sharknado Resident Evil VR that the one time I did VR I did the uh, Jennifer Antar is lurking Jennifer, welcome into the show you want to see me play the Ghostbusters I don't know what I'm doing on that game look <laughs> up you mean online? I truly have no idea what I'm doing. I join and I fight ghosts, and that's... I don't... Or are you talking about in general? Ghostbusters is a lot of fun. No, 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 They were talking about could we eventually get Sharknado 7, but I believe Kurt Angle was in a... Was in a... I thought Kurt, Kurt Angle was in a um, Sharknado movie. Maybe I'm not... Ghostbusters in VR would be sick. Ghostbusters got a real ragey spot in it near the end. Yo, what happened to Tara Reed? Didn't she, uh... Did Tara Reed have a good ending? Oh, really, Drew? Oh, now we're dead and Doom the realms are dead. What's crazy is that's actually Brian Glenn's legs. Like, the dude is just that jacked. And he's still that jacked to this day. Dolph Lundgren was in one Sharknado? Stop. What? Dolph Lundgren wasn't in a Sharknado, was he? I thought that guy was dead. Yo, almost up to 200 reactions, Legends. Keep smashing that thumbs up for your boy. We can do it. Let's get up to 500 reactions. Uh, I tanked out the channel this morning on accident because I tried to be different and post non-classic stuff. Golf was? Oh, for real? Yeah, no, I had a horror. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Len Lenny says I must be Florida man because I didn't answer his question about is there any was I have ever been Florida man? I mean, yeah, I have been. Not seeing anything that allows a D-pad, though. It could be an em due to emulation test for the PSP emulator and a laptop double check. That's the thing. I think what it was was that that Yu-Gi-Oh game was not working with some emulation thing. Unbox the gift. Oh, we're going to be unboxing that gift. Hell yeah. 
Did you send me lamps from the Mortal Kombat? Did you send me floating lamps that they never sold? Don't do what I just did. That was the riskiest move. There we go. Yeah, it's Mortal Kombat 3's Mugen version. What happened to Tara Reed though? Didn't she go on to like not have like something? Did something tragic happen to her? Nah, Lenny, Headlock used to be a real interesting, man. Like, woo! Did I the news? I never made the news, I don't think. But I've had some experiences out here that uh, I could tell you all about that. They're all, they're all good taught. They're nothing that I did that was bad. It's related to health issues. It's related to very, very severe health issues. And it's related to, how can I put this? The one thing they don't tell you, uh, nah, I don't want to, nah, not right now. Not right. We'll get into it someday. We'll get into it someday. Floating lamps. No, nah, it's a running joke on the channel, the floating lamps thing. Cause I always thought like that would have been cool. Do you remember pink? No, I don't know what that is. Well, hello cutie. What are you doing? Cat just leaned back on me. All right, let me look at our character request list over here and see what we got next. Sindel for Chris Jones, Allison for Night Wolf. We had two for Night Wolf. We are going to get some Night Wolf in here today. Sindel is coming up right now, and I'm eyeballing Night Wolf here in a little bit. I'm going to scooch up just a little bit, kitty. With certain health conditions, um, is what I was going to say, certain health conditions can lead to... What's up, OG? Good to see you. Nice, Ugly the Goblin. Thank you for moving in as a ghost. I thought I had a ghost here for a while. Not gonna lie. There we go. So, Sindel is a nice character on this game. And it's getting absolutely roasted right out of the gate. My gosh. Well, at least we know it's on hard. Nah, Luko sent over a great package for us. Luko, you let me know when you want me to unbox it, my friend, and we will do the unboxing. You want me to unbox it now? Do I remember Pingu? No, I don't remember that at all. I doth not remember this, the thing that you mentioned. Taki's waking up. Round two. So I got the Five. box on the desk. I got the box on the desk. We have a package. No, I don't remember that. Ogi, welcome into the stream. No, I appreciate you. I was going to say, like, that story, like, that Florida man story, that, that, I tell you what. A shelter and no, nah, because this is this is this is like I got some true HLG stories that are worthy of being on like fatality. I got some true HLG stories that are legitimately worthy of being on like a documentary. I honestly believe because I think they do a lot of people a lot of good to hear, but I ain't putting that out there information at all. What's in the box, man? You want me to do it right now? All right, all right, all right. We're gonna do the unboxing right now. So let me see if I can go over to is this. I don't have a webcam on this. Damn, hang on a second. Uh, all right, let's go over here. Let's do it here. <laughs> we'll do it on this screen. We'll do it here. Uh, let me go a little bit large on the webcam. Taki, you're absolutely cute, bud. I'm not doing anything, kitty. Relax. All right, so we're gonna do a quick unboxing. So Luco sent this over to us. This is uh, this was in a box that was in a box. Now I did slice this open already. I didn't look inside, so I don't know what's in this. So Luco, huge thank you for sending over the box, my friend. Hopefully it's not a bag of weenus, but uh, I said that with a New York accent. Don't ask me why. Uh, I see some bubble wrap. That's cool. Let's see the box on the floor, little bud. You want to get the box? Uh. All right, could it be a Funko Pop? Uh, it may be. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Hang on. Taki is interested, though. So we're unboxing some stuff right now. Luco, again, thank you, my guy. In, in, in an effort to build suspense, Luco, this is uh, sweet, sweet, my guy. What's up? Good to see you, Bick. We're doing unboxing right now. Yeah, I remember the show, Wishbone. Why do I remember that, Hitman? I remember that show a lot. Yo, thank you again, Luco. All right. He sent me some speakers. Some bubble wrap. Oh, ain't no way, dude. 
Oh, snap. Oh, yo, they're the Mortal Kombat statues. Yo, dude, you don't even know. This is going to go perfect. Luko, thank you, homie. Yo, they're the little Mortal Kombat statues. Taki's loving the bubble wrap, too. Taki's, uh, Taki's loving the bubble wrap. Yo, I got a perfect spot for these, too, man. Lo Yo, Luko, that is sick. Taki, you want to play with the bubble wrap? Can't eat it, though. Yo, we're playing Mortal Kombat 3. We're taking a look at the MK3 roster. We're doing the Mugen version right here. Luko, these are sick, dude. Yo, thank you very, very much. I just got something today that is going to go perfect with these. And we will be revealing that very, very soon. Yo, that is sick. Taki's looking at it like, what? Is that a cat? <laughs> Yo. Taki, what do you think? Yo, Luko, that is sick, dude. Thank you so very much. Was it is that a dog hit, man? I remember Wishbone. Was it a variety show? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why is this messing up? The Dragon Shrine? No, that's sick. So, there was a uh, custom Ashura figure that was featured by Mortal Kombat Arcade. Oh, it was a show with a dog. I remember that. What's up, Payron? Welcome in, bro. How's DoorDash going? Payron, I got a dumb question, bro. If I ever decided to DoorDash, let's say the streaming thing. Let's say I got a DoorDash. Can I take my cat with me? Like, that's a legitimate question. I just don't know. Like, if you had a pet that was, like, friendly and riding in the car, like, that probably wouldn't work. Probably couldn't do that. You can wish going forever. Imagine your DoorDash were pulled up. A dog or a cat in his car. You can, huh? Oh, I just got sauced. Let's go. I don't care. Nice day up in Outworld. Like, for real. Like, I mean, I guess that's Earth Realm, but. Fatality. Yo. Kid Jackson, thank you for the 200 stars, you absolute legend. This is going out to you, my guy. Hold on one second. Where did I put that? I put it right over here. There's something you don't see every day. You don't see An every excellent day. movie, like nowadays. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, there's something about... Yo, Kid Jackson, thank you very much, man. There's something about old school movies. I don't know if it's the way they filmed or... Terry, how you doing? Welcome into Facebook. I've seen you slide in, my bro. Welcome to the show. Greetings and a massive hello. Still on a star sending ban. What does it say when you try to send stars? I mean, I did report you to Facebook. No, I'm just kidding. What does it say? Like, do you actively have stars in your balance? Legend of Billie Jean? I'll check it out. Oh, Kid Jackson, I seen something today. Oh, is there a... Hold on. Kid Jackson, do you know of uh They banned you for 30 days for commenting too fast? Word. <laughs> I had a 30-day ban once. Won't tell that joke again. Anyway, legends remember that. Yeah, it was cool, Joseph. I like that. That's how I discovered Invincible by Pat Benatar. Is there a, is there an Instagram guy that you know that uh oh I gotta go oh I should have saved I think I saved the reel oh look what was the guy's name man I saw somebody yesterday look exact like really dead on it was impersonator of Michael Jackson he looked real dead on like spot on like you waking up kitty there you go. What was a dirty joke? It wasn't really a joke. It was some scammers that hit me up in the... I still don't know exactly what happened, but it was some scammers that hit me up in the Headlock Gaming inbox, and I... I can see geographically, but I... It, anyway, I went out of the way to make sure to try to defend them, and I, I'm pretty sure I did defend them. It was an effort to try to get the scammers to not scam, and I decided to try and defend the scammers in the worst way possible. 
I, I think I did it, but that's when I found out that messages can be, uh, you get reported for messages. So. Yes. So I got reported for a message, I think, and, uh, yes. Could be wrong, I don't know. I really don't know what happened that month. Mm. MK1 hook update. Ooh, Ermacker just dropped a new hook. Mm. For Mortal Kombat 1, that's a new mod. Round no, I really don't know what it was. Nah, no, I just was, and it could have been anything. I really don't know. I know there was a couple other creators that sat out for about a month around the same time, and they, uh, MJ knows the secret. I used to have a joke. Let me see if I can find this. Let me see if I can go to my personal profile. I gotta find this guy's name so I can ask Jackson about this. What's up, Robert? Good to see you in the stream. Luigi's Mansion is a really... Oh, by the way, did anybody's search bar disappear on Facebook? Um, on cell phone. Is the Ask Facebook the search button now? Oh, yeah, forgive me. What's up, Ray Ray? How you doing? I'm slipping, I'm slipping. Yeah, so not to sound like a senile old old person here, but did Facebook... Oh, never mind, it changed back. It was a glitch. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, I see. It was a glitch, never mind. Yesterday, my search bar disappeared on FB, and I was like, what? That's not good. Hey, thank you again for those mortal... Dude, that is so cool, man. I just sent one of the mods on the channel uh, this morning when I was setting up the uh, the one thing that I got. So there was a custom Ashra figure that was showcased by Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection a few months back. Did anybody see that? Probably not. So why do you have to kill them? What, the characters? Ah, you don't have to. You can give them friendships. Sleep the leg. Now, if you have any ideas for stickers, let me know. One hater that missed. Oh. No, that was, uh, you know, he's still here with us, Drew. Still here with us. Was in here yesterday. That was actually one of my funniest stories, but that story's between me and you. And that individual. I got some stories from streaming, I tell you what. Some of the best stories, though, is like the one person that asked me, have I ever been Florida man? Yeah, technically. Secret word is talkie. Fight. Wait, wait, wait. Mama Duck's gonna have her nine babies soon. What? Yo, congratulations to the Mama Duck. You hear that, Taki? You did hear that. First MK has different sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, uh, it, MK1 was a banger of a system, man. That was a whole game. Meets for Mortal Kombat 4. Yeah. You want a pillow, bud? Hey, Taki, come on. You want to lay down on your pillow? There we go. Now, don't forget, we do have a bonus game. You definitely don't want to miss our bonus that we're going to towards today. The bonus today is absolutely crazy. It is a Mortal Kombat beat-em-up game with Reptile. Remember that guy, Kid Jackson? So we used to have a troll that would come in. I never really talked about what he would say. I just said he would troll himself. But we used to have a troll that would come in, and he wouldn't troll the chat or the streamer. He would just come in and basically troll himself. He'd come in and he'd be like, my junk smells. And like, Fight. All, like all this, uh, like, like I, he was something else, man. I think Kamo ended up uh, sending a firm request. <laughs> That is Kyler Games. Kyler Games used to be out there. I need to unban him. Bring him back in. I don't know. That's why I'm wondering, Michael. Is it a... Oh, that's amazing, Ebony. There we go. That is a... Uh, Shondell, welcome into the stream. That's fan fatality. That's what I'm wondering. Is it Harumi as a skin? Because uh, what what could you give a female scorpion as a cameo? What are we gonna get the spear that goes? And unless Harumi had a scorpion spear, 
that anybody could have a spear. Now that would be kind of cool if anybody could have a spear. But uh, what's up, Demonic? Oh, Ermac was fun. I wanted to be on Ermac today. I wanted to play Ermac right now all day, but we'd have 35 people here fighting. Uh, I would love to just get back to the channel and just playing like MK9 on Fridays. And... Yo, 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 Ray Ray, you gotta post some pictures of these ducks one of these days if you're feeling up to it. I wouldn't mind seeing a duck here and there. I used to go feed the ducks when I worked at Wendy's a long time ago. It was the only relaxing thing I had at the hotel I was living at the time. There's an interesting time in my life that we could talk about one day. Headlocked, living in the worst part of town, living in a motel, being a manager at Wendy's. Oh, hell yeah. Got some duck pictures coming. My name's not Chuck, but if you got a picture of a duck, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Huh. Yeah. That was the best. I'm actually in all those groups. So that's one of the best headlock gaming stories of all time. So I used to stream. Oh, there you go. See if you can find the headlock gaming live streams where I streamed on my couch. Before I had a gaming chair, I used to just stream on my couch. And uh, because I, I couldn't afford a chair. So this is years ago. And then the one day that I got a chair, the same day that I got a chair, I get about a hundred people coming in and they're asking, where's the couch? So just to recap, it's like my first year of streaming. I used to stream on a couch. I go live. I got like 200 people watching me and they're like, where's the couch? And I'm like, oh, the couch is behind here. It's behind the green screen. I got a green screen. What I didn't know is that there's groups on Facebook called couch groups where they troll live streamers by going in and they just like we're playing Mortal Kombat. So they come in and they, they say that they saw you were doing a couch auction and they want to know. They're like, sir, this is the link we saw for the couch auction. And then they harass the streamer until they put uh, a shoe on their head absolutely classic stuff they hit ricky a while back kid jackson like but we were playing mortal kombat special forces at the same time they were doing it yeah level i was playing mortal kombat 9 on my phone so i was up playing mortal kombat 9 on the hotel wi-fi hotspot but 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 the thing is, is i had all these viewers they're coming in to troll me about this non-existing couch but the thing was is i had a couch and i had just got rid of the couch so they're like where's the couch and i'm like it's right here and they're like well how much for the couch and i'm like it's not for sale but we went back and forth like this with these viewers for like an hour because they were like usually they're going in and they're like where's the couch and the person's like i have no couch but in this instance, it just happened to be. And then I found out what it was, and I joined the groups. Oh, nice, Chris. Hey, that caffeine will do it to you, my guy. I'm on day six or seven with no caffeine now. Uh, what day did I start no caffeine? Anybody remember? 12th? 12th or the 5th? 12th or the 13th? I stick by it, man. The best I've ever felt in my life is drinking nothing but pure water like and it's in no caffeine like the you and eating fresh fruits and vegetables and, and fresh meats yo thank you nick i appreciate you homie it has begun let's go it has begun oh you put it in the discord oh for real yo hold on ladies and gentlemen we got pictures of cats or pictures of birds uh ducks oh <gasps> oh my gosh those are cute oh no way oh that's so sweet Oh, that's cute. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I got to get this uh, set up for y'all to be able to see the Discord sometimes. That's really cute. You ever seen those people that get the ducks? Uh, Chris, that's amazing you did that, too. Cayenne Pepper will help me with that dizziness. What the hell are you talking about? Is that because you forget everything else? How'd you know I was dizzy? Did you hear me say that one day? Your boy's been getting dizzy lately. I don't know what it is, but this is going out to Chris, knocking out the park. <laughs> Leftover eggs from Burger King. Nice. 
If you ever worked at any of the food service industries that had the, uh, if you ever worked in the food service industry and you worked around fryers, oh yeah, I don't know what that was. I know Taki gave me that black eye pretty much, but around the time I had that mystery black eye, I had a little bit of me was a little bit concerned that I'd like paint or something. I know Taki was that, because Taki was laying on my face. I woke up one day and Taki was like kicking in his sleep and he was like, I'm like, what the f- Yo, Luco getting the Discord out there. Absolutely. Cayenne Pepper. Well, I shouldn't be getting lightheaded at all with all the hot stuff I down on this channel. Bob, thank you very, very much for the 100 stars. I thought it was just a side effect of being old. You know what I find fascinating? That you can't... You ever seen the... the, the yo, Bob, thank you for the interdimensional space kitties. This is going out to you. The interdimensional space kitties coming to say thank you very, very much. So have you ever seen those floors that you can stand on and it's like a TV screen? And it, like if you're standing on a floor with a digital screen on it and they start moving the screen forward, if you you'll just immediately like fall over because your eyes take priority over your motor ability, which is really interesting to me. Like, no matter what you're doing, your eyes take priority over your motor functions. So if you're standing on a platform, if you're standing on like a glass TV or something like that, or one of those floors where they can move the floor on you and they make it look like it's water just rushing, you'll immediately feel like your legs are being swept out from under you. Congratulations on that, Chris. That was also another reason I cut out the uh, caffeine and energy drinks. Actually, Leo, yes, I can, but I did actually add it directly into the live now, too. So, you can always go here to the fb.com slash stars link. Or now, if you click the four squares in the chat, you will see featured links next to subscribe. And in featured links, you will see the link to the star store in there, as well as the link tree with all of our downloads. And you can... Uh, no, I got the uh, I got the nasty beans. Those hot beans are a little. Uh, I need to get more because we're getting close to that one chip challenge. <laughs> oh, the mad real world. Yes. Yes. The mad real world was very similar to when I moved to Orlando. <laughs> like that episode of Dave Chappelle was very similar to. I got stories from Orlando I can never tell on stream. Maybe on a VIP supporter stream we could talk about it. But I got some stories from Orlando, man. The one story I can tell you from Orlando is I remember waking up one day and I go, I look at the door and there's a note on the door. And it says, you have three days to evict the premises. And I remember thinking, huh. I know we paid the, the roommate. Why are we being evicted? And why didn't we see any other date notices? What's up, Matt Hustle? Good to see you. Oh, I know, Chris. 100%, man. But uh, it turns out the roommate, me and another person had been staying with this guy and we were paying him the rent and then he had the apartment under his name. No, 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 we were staying with this dude. And to be fair, um, to be, f oh yeah, no, 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 I remember. And so <laughs> we were staying with this dude, right? And we were giving him the rent money and it was under his name. And then he was paying the rent each month or so we thought. Turns out he was not paying the rent. He was taking the eviction notices off the door while we were at work. Hey, what's up, Toriyama? Look in our link tree and you will see the uh, the link trees in the four squares down below in the Facebook chat next to the star icon. Check it and you will see the uh, link tree in there and you'll find the tutorial at the bottom. So we ended up getting... Uh, he stabbed my dad. I love that part. So thankfully the guy downstairs who my roommate had uh, been a kind of a business partner with. He didn't know me, but he'd seen me from living there. And he found out what happened. And this dude was like, look, my guy. This dude was so cool. 
for doing this. Because I, I was by myself, I was a strange kid in a strange town, I didn't know anybody, and this dude only knew me from living upstairs with this dude that was his business partner. So, he said, listen, you can come live with me, you're a strange dude in a strange town, it's rough out here, just come live with me, just be cool. And I was like, alright. And that's where I lived for the next, like, year. Until uh, we ended up moving, because he ended up moving out of his place. That guy was pretty cool. Until he stole one of my band shirts. Oh, when I moved out. But. Shang's a lot of fun. That custom subway stage is a really good stage fatality. It makes me wonder if eventually we will get a living forest fatality in Mortal Kombat Mugen. That is something that I have not yet seen, and I'm very surprised that we have it. But that was also the last roommate that I ever had, by the way. I'll tell you off camera, Chris, more about that story. Fight. True story, though. That was uh, back in my college. Uh, it's back when we used to take half a stick of butter and throw it in a package of ramen noodles just to add more calories to it. I don't know if that worked, but back in the day, in the 90s, we used to think that if we just added a bunch of like cheaper ingredients, it would give us more calories, like half a stick of butter. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember that, Monarchs. Come on, man. Please let me get this, Motaro. Please let me get this. Absolutely, Toriyama. I hope you enjoy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Leo, Gordon Shumway. Add ketchup to ramen for spaghetti. Yeah, basically. Like, I mean, yo, I used to... What was it that I made? Oh, pancakes. Flour and water pancakes with but with syrup. Flour, water, and then you just mix it into a batter. Like, you didn't want to eat at our house, man. Our place sucked. <laughs> this is going out to Leo. Thank you very much. Gordon Shumway coming from the planet Melmac to say thank you. Yeah, but if you came over to our place back in the day, man, you'd be getting flour and water pancakes with butter mixed in and... Why isn't Trilogy for PS1? Is PS1 on Fightcade? I gotta talk to Chico Suave, Born to Win Gaming. We played online with him last night. I want to say the subway was in one of the leaks. There was a leak that I believe nailed everything correctly that said there was an expansion coming that was going to add the a classic re reimagined pit. Uh, the subway, the portal, and I believe one more stage that I can't remember. But I don't know if that was a true leak or not. That roommate that I mentioned, that's where I last played a black and white TV. That's where I had my uh, one of my Nintendos I left out there with him. I left my black and white TV out there with him. That was Jason and Will that lived in Orlando. Actually, it was Winter Park. Jason or Will, if you ever see this live stream, give me back my shirt you stole. Maybe I left him there. I shouldn't bury y'all on that. <laughs> Let's go over here and give a big thank you to Michael, Lindsay, Carl, Frank, Ebony, and Steven coming in on the stream as Top Star Centers. Leo, thank you for the love with the 50 stars. I appreciate you. And so does Gordon Shumway, Rodrigo, Toriyama, and Mac. Thank you for the likes. No Scorpion in this one. That's why I put Scorpion in the thumbnail, but I didn't put Scorpion in the... Uh, it's not a... No Scorpion, no Johnny. Genova wants me to do some beans. Genova, you got it. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Yo, hold up. What did I do with the bean wheel that I just had like five minutes ago? Oh, it's over here. Genova, thank you for the $5 super chat. We're going to do a couple beans for you. Who did I say we're going to next? Uh, no Katana. No Katana neither. No Katana, no Melina. This game was, uh, I tell you what, Christopher Welch, you still in here? We got two for Nightwolf. Uh, we got Smoke in here. Ray, if you're in here, let me know. I'm going to go to Cyber Smoke. Uh, I'm gonna get a little Kano first. I'm gonna get a little Kano for Merc. Merc, one of our new subs. Then we're gonna get some smoke. We need a house meeting. That's really how it was when I lived down in Orlando. Genova, thank you for the $5 super chat. I do greatly appreciate you. This is going to be either, oh no, dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. And we're gonna eat these till we land on a bad one. Genova, oh god, it's dead fish. Well, it's not even right. That's so foul. The moment I touched, it's just foul. Genova, thank you so very much. I appreciate you. Oh my god. Got 
Wow, what is that? Yeah, that's dead fish, all right. Woo! Maurice, what's up? Yeah, Luke Kang was great. Man! I have sex with Kane, too. I was a wild time out in, or out in Orlando. We, we were just completely like on a different level out there at that time. That was when your boy Headlocked was in full-on club mode. And don't forget, we do have a surprise download in our download link section. I hope you all got a grant, got a, uh, I hope you all grabbed that, got a chance to check that out. No baby, baby biscuits. I don't know what that is. Oh. I should hit. All right. Man, that goes hard. And that's the new stage fatality that was just mentioned in the chat. Where if we got this as a new stage fatal on this, could we potentially get a feeding the trees fatality in Mugen? Yeah, one of the invasion sites is called Bandcamp. How did you come across that, Zeme? I was going to post a reel about that. There was a there was one invasion tile that was called Bandcamp, and I was like, oh. What's up, guy? How you doing today, boss? Yeah, that one time at band camp. Ooh, that was a nasty bean, Genova. Genova, I apologize. I'm out of the hot beans right now, but we're going to get more. I have to get some. I'll get some emergency shift here. Damn. Bring back train fatality. You seen it? Yeah, that was a little weird. Yeah, he did. That was kind of interesting, wasn't it, Raymond? Yo, we got some legends over on YouTube hanging out with us today. I can't scroll down on that chat. That sucks. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Robert, good to see you. Shang Fun. We got a bunch of legends over there. I see each and every one of you. Sacred Truths, Hitman over there. Oh, let me see. Legend of Billy Jean. The Kid Jackson, are you familiar with that movie? Why'd that go through him? Stop. I'm trying to jump kick into... Can't grab him off that. Whew. Hello, Pablo. Welcome in. Salute us from Uruguay. Thank you for joining us for this deadly Mortal Kombat today. I was happy to see by speed. Um. Oh, really? Oh, is that the official one? That might be the movie I saw at the old uh, Win Dixie. Choke this man! Wait. Love that. Yep, I remember that, Maurice. Man, so did y'all do band when you were in school growing up? Who was in band? Who was in chorus? I did chorus for many years growing up. Your boy was a singer, believe it or not. Round one, fight. I liked that back in the day. Like I used to be, used to go. Uh, anybody ever do that stuff back in the day? Yo, Terry, thank you for the massive followers, my friend. I appreciate the 19 months as a supporter. Followers is 737 days. Chorus. Baked chicken and mayonnaise on biscuits and some coleslaw. Baked chicken in mayonnaise. Wait, you like dip it in mayonnaise all together? How's that work? Let me ask y'all a question: mayonnaise or salad dressing? What is your preferred uh, sauce? Thank you, John. Appreciate that, legend. Here in choir, oh, I was in choir growing up too. Choir was fun. I remember, uh, you know, one thing I learned, Genova, when I worked at Red Lobster, I, I learned that a lot of people put mayonnaise in in uh, cakes instead of butter, and it is real good. <laughs> So I started making, uh, I used to, I started substituting. Has anybody, I'm sure y'all have heard that, right? Substituting mayonnaise for butter in a lot of recipes. You hated band? 
As I got older, there was other reasons that I stayed in band and uh, chorus. At, like, I did think that, like, I was like, chorus? That's a class I can sign up for? Yeah, that sounds easy. I don't have to study for that too much. Yeah, I mean, you kind of did, but it was more it was more laid back. Did I shoot the laser? No? Do I not have the laser? Oh, I don't have the laser. Oh, okay. Need a chorus and play trumpet? I saw a harp player last night that I was like, whoa. Have y'all ever seen the girls that play the harps, the harp twins? I actually got a chance to meet them one day. They go hard. Will Spurt, thank you for the toasty sub over here at Headlock Game. We just passed 10,000 subs on YouTube. We are coming up on a quarter million followers here on Headlock Gaming. We will be there before the end of the year. We'll probably be there in the next couple months. May salad dressing the mayo kind? Hell no. Yeah, well, I never understood what salad dressing was. That's why I really asked. Like the mayo salad dressing? Nobody really used that for salad dressing, right? That's kind of thick. They'd be like putting mayonnaise on a salad. Oh, nice, Michael. Noel. See, I used to love that, man. That kids still do that. Oh, used to be amazing back in the day. What's his uh, friendship? Oh, wait, is it this? To this day, I've never blown a bubble. Not once. Friendship again? I never learned how to blow a bubble with gum. I've also never died. Do this might catch you as a surprise. As a Floridian and somebody that spent their entire life in water, I've never learned how to dive. Uh, sh because it didn't sell well. Noah, Mortal Kombat Shallow Monks just didn't sell well. Now don't forget, Legends, we got our bonus game that we're going to be going on to today, too. What's up, Christopher? The bonus game is wild. The bonus game is absolutely incredible. Look up the Harp Twins, man. They are really talented. It might be the Cello Twins. It might be Cellos that they play. I think it's Harp. Maybe there's two of them. Cho! Oh. Um. John, thank you for being here. Fatality. Fatality. Yo, appreciate all you legends hanging out. We're up to 55 likes already. That's beautiful on YouTube. Uh, I don't know how many copies Shallow Monks sold, but it wasn't as many as they wanted. To be fair, Shallow Monks wasn't the uh. Fight. <laughs> Yo, hey, I'm not gonna lie, Natesh, hello, welcome to the show. Ermac is a little awkward without a projectile at all. Like, Michael, oh, you haven't got to him yet. So the only way to do a full screen attack with Ermac, you gotta teleport, but you can jump in the air and do an air attack that lands on the ground and sends a shockwave across the ground. But... Mini Crocodile. It amazes me, Luco, the amount of time I've spent in lakes and in waters down here in Florida. It's just completely oblivious to what could be in there. Thank you, Mark. I like you, buddy. Yo, Dear Tundra. Thank you very, very much for the follow. Actually, this game that we're going to play today is a game that we... Hello, welcome in, Dear Tundra. This is a game that we can play online, too. So we just need to get Parsec worked out. Chris, we need to make that happen one of these days, man. Luco, again, thank you for these, dude. I set up the green screen for this, too. These are sick, dude. I got to show these off again. I actually got Mortal Kombat statues. These are amazing. Surround my mailbox with these. No, I'm just kidding. What's y'all's predictions for the new Mortal Kombat movie? Yeah, some people like to have that alligators here. Like, I mean. Yeah, you can do like a like a like a jump cancel for that ground projectile, but it's still pretty readable, man. <laughs> like if you see if you see Ermac leaving the ground, just that's when you know that your your only full screen option is coming. How is this? Uh what do you mean? Uh salute, my friend. Uh, what do you mean, John? The uh, fighting game? 
as Parsec is an open way to play any game online, Parsec is a thing like you don't need to have a game. Like if everybody watching the stream right now had the program Parsec, which is free, it's P-A-R-S-E-C, you'd be able to play this game online with us as my second player. You don't even need the game. What's up, Giga? Good to see you in this stream. Big shout out to Daryl Shung as well, who is on a much needed vacation in the realms. Great content creator on YouTube as well. Wins. Fatality. These games go hard, man. Like, like some of these Mugen games, like I like the brutality into the fatality. That's nice. On played Parsec first. Nice. 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 Fight. Unfortunately, I don't have... Wait. Good morning, Rhino. I'm doing well, Taki's doing very, very well. Taki has now become complete. We're gonna get the, uh, we're gonna get the, uh, the window webcam for Taki very, very soon. Yeah, Parsec's on PC. Rhino, I'm doing well. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome into the stream. Taki is sleeping comfortably. Huge shout out to Luko, dropping the Mortal Kombat statues on us. That is absolute fire like now we got to go to our bonus of a special mortal kombat beat em up today that i just found earlier today i'm gonna train fatality almost got lay down and he'll lick it oh. i haven't done the kano ball once there you go Oh, I dropped it. Daryl's coming back today. Sampo, Cyrax, and Human Sector Human yesterday. Nice. Round one, fight. Most restaurant ran ranch is made with mayo. I'd be surprised if most restaurants didn't. Uh... If they're making their mayo, if they're making their ranch, that's a nice place. Most places just get it shipped in. Some of those places, yeah, store bought ranch is uh No You son of a bitch. There's a couple guys playing ACDC on the electric cello. How many of you know how to dive into water? Like actually do a dive. Like I'm a terrible Floridian. You can't uh Dear Tundra, good night, my friend. I'm sorry I messed up that fatality for you. We'll get it again though. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, stop ah, shit. Wasn't even close. You're on the swimming team? I used to love swimming. I just don't like diving. Those super tall diving boards. Rembo was mentioning swimming on YouTube. Those super tall diving boards, I could not do, man. I jumped off one once, and I'm pretty sure I passed out after I jumped off. I just remember hitting the water. And I remember going, I'm not doing that again. That's why I've not tried skydiving. I don't think skydiving's meant for your boy. Although I did see one friend go skydiving the other day. Used to do freestyle. I never learned how to dive. What's up, Nabil? How you doing today? Welcome into the live show. 3D Mortal Kombat game of their own? Well, Ermacker's basically doing that with Deception. I mean, Ermacker has basically turned Deception into a double in the entire game. Have you seen that, Giga? Ultimate Mortal Kombat Deception? Holy! Game's a full-on project. I think you had tw 24 characters on Mortal Kombat Deception. Ermacker's added, I think, 17 characters currently, and he's going to be adding, I believe, a full 24, so doubling the roster. Like, what? That's absolutely cartoony that that character can do that. It's smoke, 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 smoke. He wasn't a nice swimmer. I was a great swimmer. When I was a kid, I could show y'all some baby pictures of me, some pictures when I was a young kid. I was so tan, and my hair was just bleached like like a completely different color. Oh, 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was, a, I was a swimmer like a son of a bitch. I just couldn't dive. Never learned to dive. I didn't care about diving. I cared about swimming. I'll take that. Oh, shit. No, nah, but there's an NES game that I always wanted to remember. Uh, I had cliff diving on it, which was really fun. It was like an Olympic game on NES. It had... So, this is an Olympic game on Nintendo Entertainment System. And it had like four different events. It was a real cheesy, basic, simple game, but I've been trying to track it down for ages. Uh, it was, it had cliff diving. It had log throwing. Like, like you had these little stick figures that would like toss a log. You could go cliff diving. The game was amazing. Anybody know what I'm talking about? No, it wasn't Snoopy at the Olympics. Track and field and track and field two. Maybe. Defenders of the Realm got cancelled because uh, I think they just finished the story. Have you been cliff diving? I'm usually too busy. Like, I mean, I like I like to do stuff like that, but like I'll reference uh, deep sea fishing. I like to go deep sea fishing, but I went deep sea fishing once. It took us four hours to get there. Going cliff diving at a young camp. So when I went deep sea fishing a long time ago, it took us like two and a half hours, three hours to drive to work, to get to the place, to get to, to get to the beach. Now we're in Florida, mind you. Okay. So we finally get there. We're going out on the boat. Then you got to go out on the boat. It takes like an hour, hour and 20 minutes to get out there. And then you're out there. Then you, I, I put my pole in the water. First cast caught a fish. I was like, yo, we're about to be an amazing day of deep sea fishing. I didn't catch anything else for like six hours and you're out there for like six, eight hours Fight. and everybody's getting drunk and like the boats. No, nah, man. You jump from a lot of cliffs. You gotta pay for that or you just find a cliff. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that, right, John. Yeah, I wouldn't be jumping off no cliffs. But I mean, unless it's fun. Is it fun? No, oh, they could have done that. What are the sharks that you have out there, Giga? Do you have a... Starting out, you need a guide or a coach. Do you have a shark area out there by Australia, my friend? Lindsay, I just seen that thing that you sent me. Oh shit, it's almost 6 30. What the fuck? Alright, there we go. You see the new thing? It's not bungee jumping. The new thing is, uh. The new thing is just throwing you off with nothing, and you just bounce off a parachute or a bounce off of a. Uh, bounce off of a trampoline. Like a free fall thing? No, I'm cool with all that. That's all right. I'll pass on that. I'd have to go look it up, but there's some new thing you can do in Florida where they just put a net down below. You think that's cool? I'll get you a free ticket. You sent me a quick message? Well, you are a VIP supporter, so we're going to be checking that out. You play MK? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, nice. We got to go check this. My guy sent me a message. Let's go! No, that's fine. What's different? Man, I don't even know what's di what's wrong. But they look fantastic. Or no, I don't even know what the difference is. They look fantastic. Yo, that's fantastic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, no. 65 drop? <laughs> See, I watched somebody skydive yesterday. No, Luco, these are amazing, my guy. These are absolutely incredible. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. They look absolutely astonishing. I love these, and they're going to go perfect with the little thing that I got, too. Do, 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 do. do people still use them to get... I don't know what that is. What, uh, what do you mean, Raymond? All right, we got to take a look at this bonus game. I did promise y'all a little bonus game. This is already in the link tree. This has been in the link tree since we started. But, ladies and gentlemen... We're going to be showing you a brand new Mortal Kombat game that I just found today. And this is a banger. 
So you've probably seen this a couple times in the past, and we're about to find out if it saves my controller configurations. Oh, cane toads? I don't even know. Now, this is a mod of Outworld Assassin. Okay, I got to talk over this music. Forgive me. I didn't mean to jump and get all... I forgot. Anytime I play this, when you get to this first menu, I always forget. Don't let it sit there. Oh, they are a bronze color. Yeah, no, they are. They're 100% a bronze color. It might not translate on the uh, webcam, but no, they're, they're, they're a bronze color. So this is Mortal Kombat. How's the audio on this? Wait, it went through? Oh, that's interesting. For the first time, the audio automatically transferred over. How did I do that? Oh, yo, check it out. So this has now got reptile in it. Um, I don't know how they added reptile. But this has now got reptile. And this is a great game. I'm going to put this on the PlayStation Classic too. Chris, you got the old version of this on your PlayStation Classic? Uh, I can tell you how to add it. You're in that area? Yeah, now you got reptile on this, man. I got another. Wait till you see what I got for tomorrow, too. This is crazy, but I've been taking some time uh, searching the realms for all sorts of different content, different fan games. This is uh, this is in our link tree. This has been in link tree since we started. Oh, I can't see nothing. I'm behind it. Yeah, it's in our link tree. You've seen me play this, Ryan, but this is a mod that adds reptile to it. Reptile was not in the original version. And I believe, uh, I believe this is, uh, got other characters. What's that, Genova? What are you asking me, Genova? Wait, wait, wait. The Butthole Surfers with two cellos playing high with Steve Vai. So, but this game goes bonkers. I mean, bonkers. You got so much on this game. Ooh, okay, okay. You can even call in smoke on this to assist you. <clears throat> You like the butthole surfers? This is Outworld Assassins? Yeah, this is a new mod Outworld Assassins. Did, oh, that's my character. Oh, so Genova, y'all all know where you all are from and stuff like that? That's pretty cool. Don't forget, you ever want to get some Headlock Gaming merch? All merchandise does pop up on the stream now. You can go to headlockgamingshop.com. Now, I've been meaning to do Mortal Kombat 9's mod for y'all, like, for a lot, uh, for a long time, but the Mortal Kombat 9 mod, I'm trying to see if I can get it on PS3. Um, so you can put, you can mod the PlayStation 3 version, and I just don't know how to do it, but the boss mod... See something. Oh, the acid spit. Okay, so your move is down, down, punch is your acid spit. You got a special move. This is not an original game. This is a fan project. Uh, but a wonderful fan project. It's made an open bore engine. Yeah, and you have four characters on this. Now, you do have to kind of talk over this because the music on this can be a little bit... You know, you can get a little bit spicy on it. Now, don't forget, all, all the characters y'all requested today, one of you will get your character selected for a bonus. So you can do that. So down, okay, so down forward. Forward, down, one is how you do the ice blast. Down, down does the acid spit. Forward, forward's that. That's your force ball, which is a special. Oh, Luca, I love those red flags, buddy. I have thought about trying to interview some, pa some faces from the past on the channel. There's one... I don't know how it would go, though. I thought about reaching out to somebody to interview them on the channel, Luco. There's one person on the channel when I started it. But I don't know if it's a good idea. It is. Now, this is a boss. Now, when you fight this boss, you gotta beat this dude down. Because you got these other enemies that are here. So, do the damage to him. Yeah, I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up. Oh, 
correct. What's his belt buckle? It's uh, it's angry. The belt buckle of anger. You got Sub Zero, Scorpion. You got Noob Cybot and Reptile. Reptile is a new character in this. Turn around, Nick Eddie's right there. He's only half down on health, too. Yo, he's out here. This dude is... Mr. G started a playthrough of this game. Our Max is a lot of fun, Chris. Check out his... Uh... Check out his cancels that he has, too. Yeah, I play on PlayStation, my friend. Now, the problem with this game is you're going to get to here, and it's going to say finish him, but you don't know what the button is. So, like... Uh... This is way easier than mythologies. Finish him. All right. Oh, this is just... He does it himself. So, this isn't as hard. This is not hard. This is just a beat-em-up. But mythologies is an excellent game. I mean, excellent. I want to do Mortal Kombat 9's mod, but Mortal Kombat 9 mod on PC, I have to play in full-screen mode. It sucks. I don't like that. I hate games that steal my, uh, my mouse. Yeah, his force cancel push. Oh, whoa, they changed this? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, what happened here? This is the uh, Lin Kuei got all sucks. They got all suspect. They got all sussed. So this is about a 45 minute game. Oh, whoa, he's got some fast stuff. You gotta jump? Okay. What's this do? Yeah, you can cancel out a lot of stuff. Ermac's got a lot of heavy stuff. Make him play Sub-Zero Mythologies, my guy. I mean, oh, wait, no. Make him play it again. Have him get on. Dude, I haven't played Special Forces. That game's hard as nuts. Mortal Kombat Special Forces. I say it all the time. That is a great game. If you want to go on a uh, funky adventure with Jax on a Saturday afternoon and really explore some different MK with some different fighting mechanics and stuff like that, get down like Charlie Brown on some... Uh, get down like get down on some uh, Mortal Kombat Special Forces. But don't mistake it, that game will beat the snozberries out of you. And don't forget, we are live every day around 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm really moving towards going at live at 4 p.m. Eastern. But keep in mind, as long as I'm going live, it can be anywhere between. It can be at 3 o'clock, in between 3 and 4. Consider 4 o'clock Eastern our usual start time. And uh, anything, we might be early on days. We have five platforms to set up, so it... Uh, Is he playing on original hardware? So he needs the PAL version of Special Forces? There's gotta be a million of those. They couldn't have sold many. <laughs> Maybe they did, I don't know. Maybe Special Forces sold real good. And oh, that was sick. Hack this dude up. You can run. Got an overhead shot. Nice. I don't think you could throw the uh, weapon on him. So you never know what's gonna... But he's playing on original hardware. Yo, hack and slash. My guy gets to play... Spe I've never played Mortal Kombat Special Forces at 50 Hertz. Some of those games play better, man. Being totally honest, I, I, I prefer Mortal Kombat Shallow Monks at 50 FPS. I don't know why. It just feels to me like it plays at a better speed and a better uh, rate. Now, you can uppercut heads off on this game. Yo, Remachin, thank you for the toasty sub. This weapon's great. Got an uppercut with it, too. This is the weapon that you want in this game. Shit. Oh, PS1 games on the PS3. Fantastic stuff. That might be one of the next bosses we're coming up on here. So, Ur uh, this was originally done by uh, Magus, and then I don't know exactly who has uh, added Reptile to the game, but they did good. Chop his head off. Well done. MK4. MK4. If I take down this green screen, it's right there. Kill them all. Oh, I forgot. That dude sits there and stabs the shit out of Scorpion at uh, Sub Zero. I would love there to be another Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero, although I don't know if it's going to be a thing. Uh, 
Yo, that was badass. I would love to see a second Mortal Kombat Mythologies. I don't know if that's something that they'll ever end up doing, but what do you mean that there's a Mortal Kombat Mythologies being worked on? Or there's gonna be another one? This is fun, when you get this, Mythologies sell well. Mythologies actually was a commercial success. Uh, how it was, I'm not quite sure, because the marketing on it was a little bit wild. If you see the Mortal Kombat Mythologies uh, commercial, it, it doesn't look like Mortal Kombat Mythologies. It looks like a Marilyn Manson video. Mortal Kombat Mythologies TV commercial looked like a Marilyn Manson video. It truly did. Okay, Gold on Dreamcast is a wild, fun game, man. There's a lot of fun in that. Still, I think it has some of the best endings in the franchise. Like, uh, Mortal Kombat Special Forces did not sell well. So you do have Scorpion on this game. He's actually a lot of fun. Scorpion, you get a Scorpion on this? Let's go, go to town. Yo, I love- Oh, there's bombs? Sub-Zero is crazy back- What the fuck? I didn't know I had this flippy dude. I stand by Special Forces. Ed Boon did hate Special Forces, I think. Again, there's probably more stories on that game that we don't know. Um... So down, down is your spear. All right, we got that. Ashley, hello, welcome to our show. How are you doing today? Yeah, hey man, I'll, I'll, I'll see ya. I think I just gotta do an offline video from the morning. Uh, we're gonna keep the offline videos to Mugen. I tried something uh, a little different today and I think that will, I think, I think that experiment bombed. PC version? PC version was real good. What's up, Mask, how you doing? The Masked King, Shaggy Rogers, joining us over on YT. This is actually a really fun game. If you just want a mindless game where you can walk around and just beat people up, this, this is the game. Yo, know, that round, that jump kick back is fantastic. Ooh. What the hell? Me and Taki are doing well. Taki's resting comfortably. I need to go to the store eventually. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the store and get chicken and stuff tonight. Play this, what the fuck? Only had like three curse words, yeah, I'm getting better. I'm trying not to curse, so if I say something ridiculous, you just uh. Yeah, Chris, this is a brand new update to this. So they, j I just found this earlier today, that somebody added reptile to it, like, and they've uh, updated some of the stages, it looks like. Frost looks different too, I'm not mistaken. Mortal Kombat 4 wasn't for everybody. The arcade, the, the home versions actually look a little better to me. Like if you play Mortal Kombat Gold, which is my most, the, my most played version, this is the new character, Chris. But Mortal Kombat Gold, my most played version, uh, it just looks and runs so much smoother. Like not smoother, but it just looks better, I think. Great memories and hookup history, yeah. One of the best skits is when keeping it real goes wrong. I love that one. Remember that skit on Dave Chappelle when keeping it real goes wrong? And the girl's like, I don't like people playing on my phone. That was back in the day. Like, we probably... That was like in the days... Uh, that skit took place on a house phone, didn't it? Sign of the times. What's up, Jow? Good to see you, buddy. That... Dave Chappelle skit, I believe on that uh, skit where they were like, I don't like people playing on my phone, that took place on a house phone, which is... You don't really see house phones on TV shows much anymore, I don't think. Maybe you do, man, I don't watch TV anymore, but... Is there a sword I can use? Yeah, yeah. This game gets hard. Uh, there's a lot of enemies. Like, you know what? If you get Corso on this, man, Corso will probably race. Wu-Tang Financial is not... Yeah, Wu-Tang Financial. Thing about that is I guarantee you they probably got somebody that's doing it for them, but I guarantee you somebody at Wu-Tang is... Actually, you have to be financially sound at some level. Oh, this is where it gets hard. So... Hey, Ahmed, what's up? So that's new. Before you had to do the fatality properly, and it gives you half a second. 
Like it'll be like fatality and you have literally like four tenths of a second to do the fatality and read it before it just goes away. And if it goes away, you're done. And uh, you, you'll be stuck on bosses for like five, 10 minutes. It's pretty crazy. Like you get stuck on this and it's like, oh shit. I almost am tempted to go to Mortal Kombat 1 to do some seasonal tower grinding if y'all wanted to do. Nah, because this game has a lot of off-screen characters. Why you want him to rage, man? Cool. You, where's my guy? Where are you trying to get Okay, don't go over there. There's some death over there. Oh, we're about to land in it. Oh, here we go. This is the part where it starts to flip you around like a bum. <gasps> I didn't mean to end the game. That's my fault. It's easy to, like, I was trying to hit start to select a character. All right, that's fine. That's fine anyway. I want to see real quick what we're doing on the seasonal tower. So this is Mortal Kombat Outworld Assassins. I do gotta close that because that is definitely a game I can't have up. And oops, sorry about that. That is in our link tree though. We're gonna go to quickly to Mortal Kombat 1 as long as it works. And I'm gonna make the chats a little bit shorter so I can get over here. Excellent. Uh, I actually had Mortal Kombat 1 pausing entirely last night. I mean, like, stopping mid-game. Oh, yeah, I'll talk about Dave Chappelle's show. Yo, it's a celebration. Well, darn it, Leo, we got to wait a second for the celebration. The star screen won't load. Give us one second. They make a new MKs for Dreamcast? Uh, which MKs Chappelle's do you show. mean? It's a celebration. Oops. Which new MKs are you talking about that they're making uh, new? Because that sounds fantastic. Better to take a truthful punch than a kiss of a lie type stuff? Yes. Did Mortal Kombat Advance sell well? I don't know. Now, this is going out to my guy. Thank you again. Ah, ah, it's a celebration. Thank you very, very much. So I apologize that I closed that. I cannot hear the game at all. That sucks. So if you go to invasions mode, you're going to be jumping into the seasonal tower. I want to do one quick seasonal tower on this so we can maybe do one a day. If we do one a day, I think if we do one a day, that would equal out to, I got to change this so I can hear the game audio in some shape, way or form. Yeah, Ta Taki's, Taki's resting like a boss. Taki's beginning to stir though. So I'm pulling up the stream on my cell phone so I can hear it as you guys hear it and I can watch it like as y'all watch it. And I just, I have no stream audio right now. So we're gonna go to the seasonal tower, which is right here. Uh, I am only level six, so this could kind of suck. I'm actually gonna go, uh, what's up Murph? Let's try to do this with our Mac. Let's try to do it with the Mac. We gotta get our practice in, you know what I mean? Uh, Filmy and Genova, what, what are they making on Dreamcast? No, I didn't know. I know you can get some, uh, what's up, Murph? Xbox Live? Xbox Live is fantastic. Do I have anything I can use? 50, what is this? Ohm Totem? Skulls of Power. Let's get some Skulls of Power, all right? Let's see if we can get this done. Fortunately, I can, uh... Go, see if I can get some audio in here. There we go. There we go. Oh, Taki, you waking up, bud? See the kitty waking up? We Alright, so this is the seasonal tower. Now, we don't know what we, uh... Can you send me in some information about that, Nova? Genova? That'd be amazing. Alright, let me see. I completely forgot everything. Oh, there we go. I remember. Oh, it's one of these already? Ain't no way, yo. This is the bomb. Uh, the, the, the boulder that hit you and killed you instantly. Hold on, let me turn my game down a little bit. So this is... I turned the volume down. Wow. This is going to be tough. So the way this works is you have a boulder that flies down from the sky and the boulder hits you in the face and it kills you pretty much instantly. Our co-host is alive and well and is... Are you getting ready to go bug something? 
Sindel and Jared regret elevating So we're gonna have to be really, 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 really uh, tricky on this. Here we go. Jeez, bro. Invasions is a trip, man. All right, that's our one hit death. All right, super duper. So I think you might have to wait. So they opened this up. What is this? Deals a quadruple? Sure, why not? That sucks. All right, let's let's bring some smoke out here. Oh, and the part of it, so you don't do any damage either, Taki. You're about to knock over my equipment there, bud. Am I getting noise out of my controller during combat, or is your PS5 controller shit? Uh, I don't have any noise coming through. I'm on I'm on Xbox. There is nothing playing through it. You shouldn't hear any. I turned that off on PlayStation 5. Taki the cat? Yeah, that's my that's my my cat, Taki, my friend. We rescued this beautiful little creature from uh sleeping in the uh, dirt uh in the backyard and was feeding it. We're now feeding We're now feeding the cat that led Taki back here. There was a stray cat that led Taki into my yard uh years back that was it's the real stray. The stray doesn't want anything to do with people. It just comes around when it's hungry. Oh, Genova, that's going to be sick. But the uh, Stray is in the back hanging out. Damn, I'm doing no damage to this pool. Look at the damage we're doing. It's like almost none. All right, we got this. We got this. All right, we're good, we're good. This is gonna be a little bit difficult. Let me know how the audio sounds for you, Legends. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be. You should. It's a nice skin for Ash, we're not gonna lie. I like that she's got wings. I wish that she got a chance to use those wings. It's actually a real shred. Like, this is a little kitty, too. It's like a little tiny cat. You, like, if you saw this cat, you'd think it was, a, like, a like a mid middle-aged kit, like a cat in between kitten and cat. It's, like, six, seven years old, but it's a little little feisty thing. It just runs around the neighborhood, and it doesn't, it's been trained. And I think the neighbors actually trained the cat to be that way, because my neighbors told me there's more cats that are wild outside. Golly, yo. And they said that, uh, they told me that they were trying to train the cats to be, like, to stay away from people. Have I beaten invasions yet? No, no, no. We did one Macy yesterday. We're doing the seasonal tower today. We're trying to get through uh, at least one seasonal tower each day, hopefully. Now, don't forget that. Look at that game that we showcased today. That is in our link tree. If you want to play that little Mortal Kombat beat em up, man, you go over there and get to that, uh, link tree, which is pinned in our comments section now. You click those four squares in the Facebook chat. You gotta quit Retro Arch. You gotta quit Retro Arch. When you go down, you'll see quit Retro Arch. So I, I can boot it up and show you. I think it's in. Yeah, I know, but when you're in there, scroll all the way down to where it says quit Retro Arch and it will boot you back into the uh, thing right there. Retro Arch is running inside of Emulation Station, so you just have to quit out of Retro Arch. No, they're fancy, ain't they? Sheet. <laughs> Bro, this is insane. You can't get hit by anything on this. Holy crap. Oh. Uh, It's like an eek noise. Have you seen the game? Did they fix people moving before the round? 
That's crazy. You can't did it. Did you get it, Chris? Once you do that, the whole I'll I'll put it on, Chris. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, like like boot it back up. Go into a game. And when you go into the game, you just hit the uh, go back to the menu, and then when from that menu, you just go down and hit quit retro arch, and it should take you back to everything. Dude, that's crazy. Hold on one second here. I'll show you exactly what I mean. I think I'm on it right now. Find out in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it right now. So this is the PlayStation Classic that you just won. So on the PlayStation Classic, when you're in here, uh, you just go into like whatever you're launching, like go to Super Nintendo, go down to like uh let's go to ace onira so you go in there you just start it and then you're like all right i'm done playing this you hit start and select and you can go down hit start and select and then go to circle and then you just quit retro arch and it goes right back there so like if you go to say you want to play uh mame you want to go over here and you want to play like uh afterburner 2 you go into Afterburner 2, and then as it boots up, let's say you're like, oop, I got the wrong game. You hit Start and Select. It brings you here. You just hit Circle to go back, and then you just quit Retro Arch, and it goes right back to the main menu, just like that. Amiga, uh, Des, I couldn't get it to work on the Amiga right here. This is the open bore section that did have that game that we just checked out. Uh, I got to update it, and I got to put today's game on that. Uh, this is the one that Chris just won, too. Did you change the setting on it or something? Once, you, once you're in a game, like, when you boot it up, like, if you go to anything, like, this is exactly, like, if you go to Asteroids, like, you load into it. And then when you're here, you just hit Start and Select. And then you just press Circle. You quit retro arch and then once you're right here you just hit circle and circles your back button like always on all playstation stuff game gear like uh let's check out mortal kombat on game gear that was actually kind of a savage little did they have mortal kombat one on game gear yeah they did they had to have a blood code on it though unfortunately uh game boy we'll go to game boy mortal kombat that was uh I don't know what you know. I, you something had to have gotten changed up on it. Then you should be booting up right to the main menu, Chris. It, unless you change something on it, it should boot right to the uh, the same thing. Because when you boot it up, it should go right to all those games. Like, what does it do when it boots up? Because it doesn't load to Retro Arch. It loads to uh, Emulation Station. Retro Arch is just a setting inside of Emulation Station. This is Mortal Kombat 1 on the uh, Game Boy. So this is old school. Uh, this is sounds like crap, too. Mortal Kombat 4 was crazy. Genova, thank you very, very much. Holy crap, that's crazy. Send me a message, Chris. I'll walk you through it. But, like, you got to play this really, really slow. Like, I mean, slow. Like, back, back, punch. Let's go. You Are you putting the... the you're, you're playing the right USB flash drive, right? Take it, Chris. Turn everything off. Unplug the USB. Unplug the power from the back. Take the USB out. Put, put, the, put the USB back in, and then plug the power back in. And it should, it should just boot right up to Emulation Station. Like, I'll show you what it will do. Because there's no way to even get it to, like, this is it. You just hit circle here, go back down to Quit Retro Arch. And goes back. Like, 
when you turn it off and you turn it on, it just boots up like this. Yeah, Patrick, it's crazy. When you put when you turn it on, it's just gonna boot up to this, and this first thing you'll see is emulation station. Like that's the first thing that popped up. Boots up like that, and then it loads up because emulation station is running on it, unless you're using the other one that I don't know about. Is the one that you're using the one that looks like this? This the menus and stuff like that? What was the last thing you played on it? I'm not sure. You'll have to send me a message, my guy. I've not encountered that. Can you get to games through RetroArch? Or what is, send me a picture of what RetroArch even looks like on this. Cause you got to get to, like, go to emulation station. If you see an, if you see an option in RetroArch, go to emulation station, go in there and go to emulation station. Oh, I'm right here, Kitty. I think our co-host is signaling. I think our co-host is signaling that it is time. It should boot up just like that. But if you like hit start and select, start and select is your is your thing. Like this is the main menu. You can't go any further back from here. I think MK was being worked on for the Atari Lynx too. But um, like Robotron 2084, a lot of people know about that game. If you get a PlayStation Classic, you load into it like this. Start and select takes you right back here. You just scroll down, hit circle. Now, if you are in here, you can go over to like right here. And Chris, if you're in here, you can go to applications and you can scroll down here and uh, you can go to emulation station right here and run it like that. And it reboots it like that. Give it a shot like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's how you do it. Don't feel bad, Chris. That actually ran me for a loop for a minute. Yo, I think our ADBD co-host is signaling that it's time. Chris, there is a way we can play these online. I do have Mortal Kombat Armageddon online. Taki, no, yeah, Taki can tell time because this cat's food. I don't know where you're storing all the food, cat, but you are definitely getting floofy. I mean, floofy beyond words. Yo, big shout out to Luco again coming through with these amazing bronze. Yo. This is sick. Wait till you see what this is going next to, Loco. You won't believe it, my guy. There's a limited edition. You good? You got it? Yo, GG's, Chris. That was, uh, that's why, that's not your fault, homie. That's like I said, this one's a little bit more tricky because of that. It's a little bit more intricate. But um, all you have to do, Chris, I'm going to send you the download link. The download link to this game today that we just played uh, for that beat em up with Reptile is in this is in the download section. If you add it to your PlayStation, uh, actually don't do that, Chris. I'll try to figure out a way to upgrade it for you because it can be a little tricky, but uh, don't forget, Chris, in here, open bore area is where those little beat-em-ups are. And this has got some crazy, crazy, crazy beat-em-ups on it, like uh, Mortal Kombat Outworld Assassins, Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm, which is a very good one. This one goes very, very hard. Yo, Terry, thank you for the 100 and the 200 stars on the stream. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I'm right here, bud. I'm right here, kitty. Oh, 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 we're getting eaten. Don't eat me, kitty. If you eat me, nobody else can feed you. Terry, thank you, you legend. I appreciate you. This is going out to you, my guy. Thank you for launching the 100 stars into the stream and thank you for the other 100 launching into the stream my guy throwing stars into the stream like people falling off of cliffs have yourself something to eat my guy thank you very very much this is very disorienting i have no game audio at all are you trying to trigger a star party oh my guy let me see i gotta skip through this fast i gotta skip through this fast Yo, Terry, thank you again for another 100 stars. You legend coming in hot. The get over here is thank you. This is very, very, very uh, weird not hearing the audio for the game. Yo, Bob, thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate that. Yo, Terry, thank you again for the 50 stars. 
Let me get you with the pork rinds, my guy. Pork rind. Pork rind. Pork rind. So this is your uppercut. That's your ice. That's the ground ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can share that. You can share that. Absolutely. How's this level? How's this game sound? Chris, this is one I highly recommend, my guy. Now, anybody that gets those PlayStation classics... How do I do this? Uppercut. Oh, it's down, down. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. Yo, Terry, thank you for another one. Yo, my guy's going hard over here. A little kid thunder to say thank you. Sounds good? This is Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realms. Terry, this is a dunk for you dropping the stars on us. Thank you for dunking on us like that. Get some $500 sunglasses with those. Those are $500 sunglasses. Emulation asshole. station like Battle Zera. <laughs> Boom. This is a good one. It's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit harder. Uh, Battle Zera, I couldn't get to work right. Um, unfortunately. Like the uppercut of the heads. Fantastic stuff. Michael, good to see your stuff. I love that sticker, Michael. That's all that's been with us season one, season two, and season three of stickers. This one is I don't have a link. I might have a link for her. hang on. Could have a link. Yo, his head went flying. Hang on a second. While I thank Terry for the hundred stars, that gives me an opportunity to get some food. Terry, you are knocking it out of the park right now. Thank you very, very much. I think I have the link for this game. There you go. There it is. It is linked in the link tree right now. The link to this game is linked in the link tree right now. There we go. Slide through. Now this PlayStation... Oh, this is the one that I... Uh, I gotta see if I can fix this. This crashes at the end of this fight. On the PlayStation Classic. I forgot about that. Mr. Drew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harumi is a uh, ambush. She's a fighter in uh, Invasions mode, too. I wish I could punch the crotch, my friend. I really, truly do. I wish. You already have a modded PlayStation Classic? These are a little bit like like that issue Chris was having. I've had that before, too. Because once you figure it out, like it's not that hard. But it gets to be like... At first impressions, it's very, uh... Yo, this is kind of difficult. Terry, thank you very, very much. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was my special that I just did. Some giblets on that table. They actually put all the warriors on the warrior shrine back there, too. Double Dragon movie. Never seen it, but I do want to check it out sometime. Yo, Terry coming in with the party stars. Thank you very, very kindly. Appreciate you, my guy. Seriously. Oh, he's keeping it going. I was trying to uppercut the head off. So this game's got a lot of these enemies that basically run through. Yeah, Matthew, this is the second MK beat em up we checked out today. The first one that we checked out. I got I got two more surprise bonus games uh, to show y'all too. I gotta add a new I gotta do an update to MK versus the world soon. Sir, can I get out of the corner? My god. I gotta do an update to MK versus the world. There's a couple new characters that I can't get. Um Let's see. There we go. Yo, Terry, thank you again, my guy. Appreciate the love and support. How do I get these bums off me? That's jump kick. What's this do? That's block. What's that do? Grab. Oh, thank you, Genova. Genova, yeah, as a YouTube member, you guys get early access to the videos. I wish I could do something like that. Oh, we can knock them in half? Okay, okay. Yo, Terry, thank you very, very much. This is going out to you. We got to get some dancing in here. Thank you very, very much. A little more dancing going out to Terry, dropping the love across the stream. And even more dancing. Ebony, thank you for the 300 stars coming in. Thank you for deciding to let those stars go. I need to turn this star screen down. 
in volume. I can leave that as a star screen. Ebony, this is for you. I gotta turn that down. Uh, they don't like that star screen. The, the powers that be at Disney do not like these. They don't like the, uh, they don't like that at all. <laughs> yeah, powers that be at Disney don't want us letting it go. The, uh, yo, thank you very, very much. We did activate a star party challenge. I do have another download link as a surprise. If we hit the star party challenge, we will activate another download link surprise. One of these is your special, which you need to really do to get through, like, a, uh, some of these fights. Fuck, get my ass here. Stop! There we go. This this would be great if it didn't die right here, but I think it's gonna die when we get to the uh Don't use your special, because your special is how you kill the master monk. I believe. It gets to a point where it says fatality, and it's uh then you have to there you go with that. Stop. There we go. One more, one more. Whenever it says fate, I thought there was more moves on this game. Like a, uh... Is that a kick button? Oh, that's where you can use your fatality right there. So your special is that green meter right there. Now, for whatever reason, after you beat this, unfortunately, this Beats of Rage game just does not want to progress past this part. So you have to go to end game. That is very unfortunate. I do say so myself. Yo, Michael with the big 2,000 stars. Hold on. Wait a minute. How the hell did I not see that in it? Yo, 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 yo. Hold on one second. Yo, Michael, thank you for the 2,000 stars going towards the Star Party Challenge. Legendary stuff. Why didn't that pop up for a minute? Yo, thank you for the 2,000 stars going in that Stars Party. That is a massive drop. Hold on. Where's the dunk? Thank you for the dunk of the 2,000 stars. You're going to be downloading Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Earth for this one. This does cause that one to freeze. So that one I do turn off. So that one you got to reset. Now there is somebody on the server. Ladies and gentlemen, there's somebody on the Mortal Kombat Armageddon server. I just kind of want to see this right quick. Sax Yo, thank you for the 50 stars coming in. It won't tell me what the hell that says. Let's chill in the forest with Sax Squatch. Yo, what is going on on freaking... What is all this? What is all this? Thank you for the 50 stars, man. I appreciate that. Yo, Terry. Oh my gosh, y'all are going hard. Yo, this is going out to my guy dropping the 50 stars. Leo, thank you very, very much. Terry, thank you for the big 3,000 stars. Yo, feeding the trees is active. A brutality is active as well. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Finish him. Rolette's pork rinds well coming done. in. Superb. Yo, thank you very, very much. Where is my pork rind screen? We got the pork rinds right here. Pork rind. Quan Chi on the pork sax. Rind. Oh, Quan Chi on the sax is right here. Let's go and double booty and cake stars. Yo, thank you very, very much, Legends. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. This is not booty in the cake. This is booty in the cake right here. And we're going to go to the double one. Not just the single, but the double. Thank you for the 3,000 stars smashing the Star Party Challenge Sorry, on that too, please. Legends. Absolutely legendary effort on that. Man of my word, let's go to the link tree and let's check out. You now have Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat also available in the download section. Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat. The game you're looking for, once again, is Mortal Kombat uh, Defenders of the Realm. Yo, much love. Thank you very, very much for that. Hang on one second. Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat is the one you are looking for right there. hour on the clock there's a lot going on over here on the playstation 2 side of things here let's see if we get a little match in 
Yo, thank you very much for all the love and support, everybody. I do appreciate that. You want a metal kitten? We 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 just smashed a star party. I think that that is a uh... kitty kitty kitty. What are you doing? Big thank you to everybody that came in for that. Carl, what's up? We are giving some thank yous for some star donations, but we're on Mortal Kombat Armageddon online on PlayStation 2. Carl, this is actually PlayStation 2 online. Nobody's uh, doing anything right now, so I don't know why. But, uh... Trying to get some sights in. Yo, Mike, thank you for the thousand stars, homie. Appreciate that. Welcome into the stream, bro. Hold on, I gotta move my mouse. Taki's feet is right on this thing. Stream of Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat? This is uh, PlayStation 2 Mortal Kombat Armageddon Online. I we're, why, why are all these players here? Are we organizing a tournament or something right now? Yo, Mike, thank you very, very much. This is going out to you. I know you are a Sub-Zero fan. And I got some Sub-Zero for you. All right, all these players are sli all these players are ducking me right now. They're all ducking. Thousand players ducking your boy. Yo, nice, Mike. That's good stuff. All right, this ain't working. This is not working. How to get PS2 online? Y'all want to do, uh... We want more. Uh, it, dude, there ain't nobody letting us play. All right, well, I tell you what. Do you want to do some requests on PlayStation 2? Taki's getting a little bit floofy. Oh, you son of a bitches. Oh, all of you were doing there. Oh, you're getting sleepy, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. This is how I know Taki's hungry. That's how I know Taki's hungry. Taki will grab my hand and start to bite. We'll get you some food. You you got food in your bowl. I fed you before we went live. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I'm number one ranked on here. So Taki, please move your foot. We got Mortal Kombat 1. We got Mortal Kombat Armageddon. It is up to you, Legends, what we want to do. Oh, wait a minute. This has never happened before. It's froze right here. There's no icon. All right, well, I tell you what, your boy's going to make an audible on this. Do you want me to check out Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat? I got to download it if we're going to do that. Uh, Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat. Yay to Sub-Zero. I'd like to play. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it took forever. Let's go. MK1? Someone wanted to play Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Downloading Mortal Kombat vs. Marvel. So, Sub-Zero, wonderful warrior on this game. I mean, absolutely just tremendous fighter. Uh, he was the good stuff. Hopefully, I don't have any drop issues while I'm doing this. I can't all close up go as hard. Y'all want to see this game on the expert difficulty? It's frustrating. It is frustrating, but it's fun. I think that's right. You want to see some MK1? We can do some MK1. I'll pop back over and see if the online uh, MK vs. Marvel is almost done downloading. Don't forget, we got some amazing games in the link tree right now for you legends. Some amazing games. Round one. Unchained Fight. is like this. First match is very fitting. What? So the air combo is making a return to the franchise is uh I want to go back online, get some online matches in, yo. That's the sad, that's the stuff right there. Hang on one second. I'm gonna move this open. That's open there. I'm trying to change how this uh there we go. That's better. It's a new Mugen. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, boss? Good to see you. No, I pushed it back. We start about... We start... A, our official start time now is about 4 p.m. Eastern, but we are starting uh, sometimes a little bit early. But with Taki, it's just easier to do at... at uh, what's up, my world? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Anthony. It's just easier with Taki, and I have five platforms to set up now, so it's a lot more set up uh, than I'm used to. Yo, this is going out to Brian. Thank you very, very much. 
MK6. All right, let me see what this Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat's all about. We're going to extract that. Oh, crap, I got to do this. MK6. Well, MK5 was a great game. Don't forget, MK5 was a game that was on... Uh, MK5 was on Sega Genesis, and MK5 was... There you go. All right, we're going to find out what this is in two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and throw this dude into a subway car for y'all. I don't know anything about Marvel vs. MK. Fun fact about Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Chris is the only person to beat me on this game in, I believe, a year and a half. Chris, what did we play? Oh, that was Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 the other day. Okay, I remember. All right. So you wanted Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat, right? You wanted to see some Marvel vs. MK action. Uh, Tundra, I'm gonna put it on in just a second. I'm gonna throw this dude into a. We'll throw this dude into a. Uh, it was on PS5. The the MK1 was a fan game that I was. Uh, five, six, and seven. What I mean by Mortal Kombat Five is there's a Sega Genesis ROM hack that it's actually not a ROM hack. It's a fan game that somebody made. It's Mortal Kombat Mythologies ported over to the Sega Genesis, and they called it Mortal Kombat Five. Why is this not working? There we go. I am rusty on this. There we go. So let me see if I can find this game and boot it up for y'all. Marvel versus Mortal Kombat, eh? All right, Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat. The link to this game is in the description. Now let's see. Terry, thank you for another thousand stars. Bro, appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I got to get some hot beans. We are actually officially halfway to that one ship challenge bite. That's kind of wild. Woo! I'm going to pause this. I'm going to check this out. Hold on, right, there we go, there we go. I gotta change this over so I can see. Y'all are already seeing the game. I can't see it, but y'all can see it. That's loud as hell. Terry, thank you again, my guy. Appreciate that. I don't know how I feel about the static intro here. The static intro is a little wild, isn't it? The static intro is a little bit crazy, uh, like leading in. Yo, this is going out to my guy, Terry, who is absolutely killing it right now. I thank you. Tails thanks you. Tails wins. Knocking it out of the park. Eight is DC. Okay, so yeah, broken Mugen. Okay. The hell's going on here? Okay, arcade. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So you got to go down with your... You got to you gotta set up your D-pad first. So that's the first thing to do here. Survival training watch options. The there we go. Easy one. Leave it on easy one. These games are so hard, you're not even going to be able to control nothing. F. All right. And configure. Up. Fuck. Sucks. Up. What the fuck? Oh, this is key configuration. Son of a fan... Son of a French toast. Input config, F2. All right, and then F1. I'm losing it, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. I think that's right. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I just botched it. I just botched it all again. Fuck, don't, don't be like headlocked here. Just, uh, okay, F2, F1, up, down, left, right, A. B, C, X. All right, go down. Options loaded. I don't want it load. I wanted to save. Oh, you can't save it. That's crazy. Kenny, thank you for the gifted sub. That is a little Beavis and Butthead for you, my friend. Uh, this is going out to you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now let's get some weights and let's get busy. MK11 is 11. Yes. This is this is absolute nightmare fuel just to get past the main menu. The game itself is going to be destructive. Up, down, left, right, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, start. Escape, escape. All right, legends, I think we're ready to play the game. 
All right, let's see what this is about. Getting ready for your gig tomorrow? I hope it goes fantastic. Move this over here. There we go. That was the most chaotic setup I've ever had in my entire life. All right, so. Something's wrong because I'm not hitting any buttons. Anthony, I hope that gig goes fantastic. All right, arcade. Select your character. Do I have to press start or something to select my character? I shall bring forth imagination into reality. You on Friday. What's up, Anthony? Welcome into the stream. This looks cool. I don't know what's going on. We got Chameleon versus Doctor Strange right now. Can any of you? Now, this game is available for download right now. If you download this game in our link tree, you can get your hands on Animated Chameleon. Game looks incomplete. It's fan game. But uh, you got Chameleon going against Doctor Strange. Now, I... I'm not playing. I don't... It wouldn't let me select a character. It's just, like, automatically playing. But I'm going to be honest. These games are so hard that it's like... This is actually... How do I turn the AI off? This is Marvel versus Mortal Kombat. So you do have animated characters. No mercy. Mercy is for the weak. Yo, absolutely. That needs to be a star screen. Thousand percent. No mercy. mercy Thousand percent. That needs the uh yo, this is going out to Brian. I will never, never let, let my students, my students lose. I don't know how to select anything. I don't know what it's doing. It just starts and it just starts playing on its own. This is Marvel versus Mortal Kombat. This is uh, its own little gimmick. I'm not sure. Like in my spot, like it's. I, it said that I was. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. In lieu of this, I may find us a nice little bonus, though. Uh, uh, something of a perk. Hmm. Let me see something here. So Mortal Kombat Deception had a remake that I've not checked out. We're going to take a look at the Mortal Kombat Deception remake in 2D. Bruce! The game would, it's, it's available for you to play. The trick is you got to figure out how to play it. The game plays for you. I don't know why. I don't know how, but it does play for you. So we got to do a little uh, nasty bean too. There we go. What's up, Splendor? Good to see you. So this is literally uh, Mortal Kombat. It's stuck in like, uh, I don't know. I went to arcade mode, but it's stuck on something. This is literally an Armageddon re or Mortal Kombat Deception remake in 2d now i've not checked out much of this i know i played a minute of it and i was like dear moses and that's the last i played of it let's see if i can find so out why it's only disappointing because i was at the at the steering wheel my friend if you get that game for yourself it's probably an amazing cold cold game my friend kind of sucks everybody was ducking us online on uh, armageddon first character is just nut job Oh man, I don't want to do this being. Oh, I remember this game now. Yo, so this is rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is juicy pear or the booger flavor. I this bean is nasty. Thank you for crushing that star party. I love today. What's going out to y'all. Please be the good one. Juicy pear, I think. There's a split second where you can't tell. So this is the 2D uh, Mortal Kombat Deception remake. And I got I don't have a link for this. Um, but you can find this easily on YouTube, I think. Notice she's not in danger. Oh. Zero wins. No, that one's peach, I think. Juicy pear. But it's not the good.
you turn your TV off, Saki? Oh, you're watching TV. Okay. Yeah. So I have not beaten this game because this game got real hard. I mean, Noob Smoke 2D, that would be sick. That'd be, they, they, there is a version of that. I wonder if they uh, used it in this. I mean, this game got disgustingly hard. Come on, lady, let's do this. Let's go. Oh. I like, look at that. She's still going. Hmm. I spit that son of a bitch out. Almost. I was trying to chew it and not get like the whole parts of it. I, there's a specific way to chew these. Right, so great. This game. Oh, here goes Taki. Oh, whoa, 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 Taki, 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 Taki. It's okay, bub. Taki stretched out and got all on the monitor. Okay, so this guy's absolutely savage. Darius is one of the best characters in the world on this game. <gasps> Thought of a bitch. There you go, Taki. You stretching out, bud? It's interesting. Like, the cats, I don't know what TV, what computer monitors are made out of, but they're made out of, like, non-glass that the cats can't, like, scratch. For the most part. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was. This 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 game was uh, this is a neat stage. I've not seen this in Mugen before. This is literally the uh, one of the realms. Yo, Kamo, did you raid? Yo, Brian C just gifted five gifted subs. What gifted memberships? Yo, my guy with the five gifted memberships coming through. Thank you very very much. Yo, big thank you for dropping the five gifted memberships on us. That is huge, yo. No mercy. That is awesome. Growing the headlock squad around the realm. I got my window open, Bruce. I got it cracked open so Taki can look outside now and Taki can see like some stuff going on out there. Hey, big thank you for that. Dropping that. You deserve an absolute brutality. Well done. Hold on one second while I'm looking for it. Mmm, you kick ass, my friend. That is a kick ass move. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so very much. You kick ass like that guy kicking Daniel LaRusso's ass. You think 10 had to get better? Uh, God. This is where I kind of got stuck. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold back, hold back. Man, it sucks. Mortal Kombat 1's got that first meteor tap. So we got to go through. Uh, Y'all want to do invasions tomorrow? Slide! Woo, she almost didn't slide. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all want to do invasions tomorrow again? Get through the second Mesa? Oh, my gosh. I watch a criminal amount of Cobra Kai, like clips and stuff like that still to this day. What I think of Carl Urban playing New Johnny Cage, I'm not really familiar enough with Carl Urban to really like say yes or no on that. So like, I can't say like, you know, yes or no. Why never have a green shield? Uh, if you're a supporter chat and it's not showing, uh, sometimes you gotta turn it down, turn it on, not turn it down. Turn it down. Sometimes you gotta turn it on. Yo, they remade all these stages. Yo, that's crazy. Sounds good to you. I uh, want to get through it so I can. Uh, I want to see what's in the crypt, but honestly, not the crypt. I keep calling it the crypt. Honestly, they could have made that shrine like they could have just made it like a little bit larger and of an of a area and like when you become a subscriber or go to the subscriber hub on headlock go to the main headlock page on facebook and you'll see the subscriber hub on our main page welcome back nick and it should uh in there give you the option to display the badge 
Uh, you can be a top fan and not and not display the badge, or you can be a supporter and not display the, the supporter badge, that kind of thing. 11's roster was all right. I would have liked to have seen Reptile, and I would like to have seen Ermac. Only because it sucked that we saw them literally in the game, like what they'd look like as a morph for Shang Tsung. There's a lot of gloom in that game. I liked it. I liked Dark Raid, and I thought it was a good touch. I am a tongue in there. Oh, you were getting fussy because you were getting sleepy. Taki likes to get fussy before he gets this before he goes to sleep. Moving your foot, little buddy. Taki's like a full-on child, man. It's, oh no, 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 no! Is there only four stages on this game? I don't know. Was Carl Urban? I, I don't know, uh, 10 out of the speed, 10 out of good speed on it. What's up, Dean? Welcome to the stream. They did nerf raid, and they nerf raid and hard. Peacemaker got a, just absolutely thrown off a cliff, as he very much well should have. Like, that character was just absolutely gobsmacked. I mean, just goobly gooker levels of just... Not, it was fun to play with online because you could run into them about anything and you'd be like, all right, I'll just go pick Peacemaker and just Peacemaker your way through it. <laughs> he was fun online, but boy, I tell you what. Uh, Nerf is, uh, they, they they weakened him. They, they made a lot of his strings do a lot less damage. He did, he got a lot of like 10% like decreases in damage and stuff like that. See, I thought they killed Goro in the game because I thought we were going to see Goro. I thought we were going to find out in this game. I had a feeling, you know, we knew that we were going for a prequel. So I thought we were going to see how Goro died in the game we're playing now. Maybe we still will. Maybe at the end of the... Who knows? Maybe we in the... Maybe in the end of the... Maybe in the story... Hear me out. What if in the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode expansion, what if we see Goro's lair and we see something that occurs and Goro dies in his chair and then that's where Goro's body is laying because... And the same thing, I thought maybe we saw Kenshi in the crypt because maybe we would see what had led to Kenshi being died, being killed at some point, but they didn't do that. But they did take a bunch of stuff for invasions that we've been talking about on the channel. That's really, really cool. That actually made me a little uh, nervous. <laughs> when I saw some of that improvements that I'd been asking for, I was like, I'll watch it. <laughs> What's up, Catherine? How you doing? Yeah, nerfed is just absolutely. This is the deception game, Nick. This is the deception. SNES Deadpool was it? Well, did they have these side things in Deception? I don't even remember. I don't remember. They didn't, did they? They didn't have those windows in Deception. Uh, this is pretty cool. I wonder why I didn't play this. There was they, they, I played this before and it was stuck on like just. It would must have been broke when I played it before or something. Because I couldn't even get past the first round with Sub-Zero playing my hardest with nobody watching. I practiced this. I put it on and I was like, let's see how Mortal Kombat 2D is in Deception. And I couldn't even do anything. <laughs> it was end of the road for your boy right there. It was a square, but so is my house. I got windows in my house. They could put windows in that. I can't believe I didn't make it. Uh, Beal, my friend. What's up? Is that Beal, Beal? Beal, my, my friend. Arrived at Goody. Welcome in. Beal, the living legend. Is this why I didn't play this game? Because this broke. What's going on on Mortal Kombat Armageddon right now? There's a million players online. <laughs> Why is everybody playing Mortal Kombat Deception right now? Ebony, thank you very much for the 300 stars. The Conness of the Realm. 
with the love on the show. This is going out to you. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. This is what I was looking for. Thank you for the 300 stars, Ebony. Much obliged. There we go. Hey, Beal! Good to see you, my friend. Yo. There's a bunch of people on Mortal Kombat Armageddon right now. I don't know why, but Mortal Kombat Armageddon, top game. Who my mains in MK9? Oh, uh, Scorpion, Nightwolf, well, Reptile. Used to be Ermac until I became a streamer, which is weird. John asked who my MK mains are in MK9. MK9, I want to do the boss mod for you all very, very soon. Play. It's Noob Smoke. Check it out. That's pretty cool, man. So they did put Noob Smoke in this. This is the Noob Smoke character. That's, that's actually pretty slick. MK9 was just a whole on project, man. That game was a banger. That just was such a great game. Like, just throw everything else away. And it's nice to see invasions. The invasions now feels a lot like the uh, tower. It now sounds a lot more like uh, I'm from Florida. Uh, that's not a country. I'm from America. I'm America. It's south in Florida, America. What country are you from? And I say Florida. That's uh. What the hell's wrong with me when I live stream? No, I'm from the, from the United States, my friend. Mixed feelings on MK1? It's a tag assist game. I knew it wasn't going to be for everybody. That's why I rolled my eyes slightly and, and let out a deep breath when I saw it revealed. I did say for a long time, though, as they were leading up to it, it felt like they were hiding something about the game because they didn't really, like... Like, when I put an update into Mortal Kombat versus the world, I can't wait to tell y'all about it and show y'all the cool stuff that we're doing. Last time I updated the game, y'all knew within 15 minutes when I was done. So when we weren't seeing anything about like a new conquest mode or like, you know, like all this or that, I was starting to think like, is there something that they're hiding? And it was the cameo assist. I, in my opinion, I feel because that was hidden. If you go back and you watch the reveal of Mortal Kombat 1, the actual reveal where they were like, oh, this is this is the bad Shao Kahn. But if you go back and you watch the reveal, of Mortal Kombat 1, they showed the whole thing. They went through the whole thing, talking about choices and this and that. And then at the end of it, they're scrolling through the features. And it was like the second or third to last thing at the bottom. They were like, and a new all-inclusive cameo assist feature. But it was like the second to last thing. It was not prominently featured anywhere. It was just slipped in there. You can still go back and look at that. And I was like, oh, it's a tag assist game. Tag assist games aren't for everybody. They're just not. Uh, I wasn't into tag assist games, but I knew with this one coming out, I was going to have to get adjusted. But I mean, I, this is always what I wanted. Not, not a tag assist game. I just wanted a new MK. I like the new Mortal Kombat. I like keeping them different, fresh. Fuck. We live in a world where we can play all these different Mortal Kombat games because they're so unique. Like, look at the fan games we've done just today. Oh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Holy Moses. Let's go! You ain't dead yet, are you? You son of a... Well, look at it this way. Look at it this way. It's not 100% like a tag... It is a tag game. A tag assist game. It's an assist game. But... It's more like you're just adding special moves to your character. Like, like, let's say I was playing with Sub-Zero right here, right? On this game. I could pick Sub-Zero, and then if I wanted to, I could add full-screen Serena Glaives to it. But instead of just having those blades come out without... Instead of just having these, these attacks come from off-screen, they have character characters doing the attacks for you. Like, they could have made Sector... They could have put Sector in the game, and they could have had his his flame assist be a uh, son of a bitch. 
They could have had his flame assist be an off-screen flame. They could have had his pop up from the floor, been an exploding bomb on the floor. They didn't have to make it as an assist game. They could have just made it like a game where you could have added moves to any character, which is originally what they intended it to be. But I think Ed Boon said it didn't make, it didn't feel like it made much sense having just random stuff flying in off screen. So they wanted it to be like a game where you could kind of see an assist. This dude is absolutely a menace. Holy hell. This is uh, Mortal Kombat Defenders, Defenders of the Earth Shao Kahn, too. This is the hardest Shao Kahn in Mugen. I timed that just wrong. Just wrong. If I had timed that just a little bit different, we'd have got that cat. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. We definitely got this. Let's go. Appreciate all of you that are hanging out with us today. All the love and support. Y'all are absolutely incredible. We're going to be going through... I think this is this is not the final boss either. Holy hell. Get that uppercut on him. That's brutal. Look at that shimmy by Shao Kahn. I might have to go to I might have to go to Motaro on this to be totally honest. Oh crap. Tekken 8 is a fantastic game, man. We're living in a renaissance of fighting games. As a fighting game player, I'll tell you right now one thing that uh, we have done as a community that is uh, you can look this up. There's a reason there's not a lot of There's a reason there's not a lot of fighting game streamers out there. Like, if you think about it, and this is just me, maybe you can rattle off some more, but if you think about it, and maybe it's because I'm in the community of it, but I, there's there's a very small community of fighting game streamers. Oh, I don't have bosses. Oh, that sucks. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, hang on one second. Ladies and gentlemen, Happy, happy birthday from Headlock to you. I hope you're having a beautiful birthday today, Tammy. Take this gift from Baraka with you, too, and have a happy birthday, yo. Thank you for watching today and being here. Happy birthday, Tammy. We're going to win this fight right now. Let me try that. Oh, that was not move. That's not the right move. Hmm. Street Fighter 6 is okay. I can't judge Street Fighter games. I can't be the judge of Street Fighter uh, games. The, the, but the, the, the fighting game community is small. The, the fighting game streaming community is very small because if you are trying to make it as a live streamer, the fighting games are the hardest niche to ever exist in as a fighting game, as a streamer. I didn't know that when I started it. Had I known that, I probably would never have made the transition to make Headlocked full Mortal Kombat uh, a few years back. Well, Mortal Kombat's missing lobbies. I'm still a little confused as to where the lobbies are. I don't know. It must be some lost ancient technology, like how they built the pyramids, you know? Like, like ah, uh, we went to the moon. We lost that technology. We don't know how to do it again. We built the pyramids. We lost that technology. And, uh lobbies and rooms in Mortal Kombat uh, we, we must have lost that technology at some point wins. I can't beat this character Sub -Zero. this dude is absolutely a menace I'm going to beat him this time though 100% if not we go to, to uh... he answers oh my gosh this dude's a menace How are you not dead? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't play well, but it looks nice. This is actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed. I like how the difficulty is massive. There goes all my health. All right, we got it. There's a timing on this. It's very specific, but it's a timing on that. You do. We did, but they didn't live stream it. And they didn't take me, which I'm fucking... No. 
I hope that was good, Michael. If you want me to redo it, man, you let me know, man. I'll... Let's go! Oh my gosh. How are you not dead yet? Bro, you better be dead now. Oh my heaven to 7 Eleven. This dude had a billion health points, like no lie. This guy was like ready to go. Like, so this Mortal Kombat Deception, Mugen. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, so you do fight Onaga. And you fight him on this stage. Okay, this is pretty cool, man. We might have to play this one of these days. The Mortal Kombat Deception 2D remake. It's a little difficult, but uh, you know, it's all right. Life's difficult. No, we did go back recently. Did you see everybody giving them shit about it? Because <laughs> they're like, why didn't you live stream it? But. Y'all ever hear about the moon rock that we gave to another country that turned out to be petrified wood? <laughs> nice. All right, this guy's going crazy. I like the finish him logo on this. That's actually a nice touch. So a long time ago, apparently the U.S. decided to give somebody a uh, a moon rock, and it turned out that it was just petrified wood. I don't know if there was some mix-up or something like that, but they uh, when they went to test it, the person that we gave the gift to. I don't know. It could have been the person we gave it to. So it, like, maybe it, their version got stolen or something. Who knows? Three by three versus three. There's a Mortal Kombat coming out that's 4v4. So if you're into 4v4, you like all the extra characters running around on screen, you do have that. And again, once again, Tammy, a big happy birthday. Thank you for visiting with us today on the live show. This is Onaga the Dragon King. Now, in the Ermax gameplay, there's a couple ghosts that you see that... It makes me wonder, could Onaga look similar to one of those demon-y creatures that we see with Ermac? Oh, they're wishing happy birthdays over there on the YT, too. Because that's the, another thing I was thinking. I was like, could he look like one of those little demon creatures? Maybe he could. Yeah, the Kamidogo in the back would be amazing. I'd like to see in season three of Mortal Kombat Project, maybe that final actual outro screen change. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's fantastic. That's good stuff. Super Smash Bros. That's a game that I've not played myself, but I... Oh, we got Survival? I gotta just see something real quick. I just gotta see what iteration of... Uh, so they, they put everybody on here. Dark, wait, there's secret characters? No? Okay, this... Uh, I just have to see this. How does this work? Is it random? Or is it not random? I want to see how he changes. Oh. oh, wait, it's random. It's random. It's random. <laughs> it's terribly hard. It's criminally hard, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't bad. I wonder what I was going through the first day I tested it. Oh, it might have been like this. Tanya wins. So you, oh my gosh. Oh, sweet mo, sweet, oh my, oh er, er, my gosh. There we go, we got it. Mm. Now on Mortal Kombat 1, I'm very excited. And uh, to see all those changes that we were talking about, I feel like Mortal Kombat, I'm gonna be totally honest, man. I feel like they're, going back to what I said, the streamers are not that, there's not that many in the community. And I feel like they're watching and I feel like they're listening to the community because they have listened to they, they put in a bunch of stuff that I've seen people asking for across the board and to see like that now who's the chick with the red hair that's Kira Kira was Ed oh wait no let me get that one. no Tanya is Ed Boon's sister's name uh, Kira was part of the red dragon Smash Bros yeah the fighting game oh, excuse me I didn't mean to call it that I don't know. Smash Bros. could be considered a fighting game. I don't want to call it a fighting game. I don't know if Smash Bros. is a fighting game. It's a platformer. Something like that. Tanya wins. 
Oh, no, no, no. Smash Bros. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Smash Bros. is a very popular, very popular fighting game. Now, I've not been any good at it or used it for anything. Uh, I'm bad at Smash Bros. Uh, I'm very popular, though. It's a fighting game. That's yeah, hot. If it goes beep, beep, boop, boop, and you got two people going at it, I'm like, yo, fighting game. Now, I don't know how many of you grew up back in the Atari days, but that was some video gaming right there. Now, there's actually a Mortal Kombat on Atari that's out there that is absolutely sick. If you've not played that Atari game, you are missing out. All right, Legends, it is 745. This stream got way long. We went almost four hours again today. I appreciate y'all, Legends, hanging out. Seriously, I do. Thank you very, very much. No, I've seen people get real at tournaments. I've seen uh, I've seen people smash things over. Uh, I was part of a I was at a I was at a live tournament for Smash. It was a Tekken tournament, but I had to help with a Smash tournament. Uh, this was at Grand Rapids Comic Con in 2018, I think. I was helping with a Tekken tournament. As Grand Rapids Comic Con, and I had to help with the Smash Tournament. And they took that so seriously. Those players were not having nothing. They were all about some Smash. I mean, it was like Blood Feud Smash in there. It was uh, probably Melee back then. They were about to Melee each other. That's all I know. Yeah, this might have been what I played where I was like, yo, this game is way too hard. They were ready for the melee back then. Thank you, Leo. What's the other game? This is Mortal Kombat Deception's HD remaster, John. I don't have a remake. I don't have a link for this one, but you can look up Mortal Kombat Deception HD remaster. Yo, Legends, as I get ready to go, thank you from the bottom of my heart for an amazing day today. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Luco, my guy, thank you for these amazing Mortal Kombat trophies that I'm going to go get set up, and I got a perfect spot for these too. Luco, you're an absolute legend. Once again, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we were on almost four hours today. We did a great uh, stream today of Mortal Kombat 3 Mugen, which had some new characters or new uh, animations for new fatalities, new stage fatalities. You got new uh, stage, new brutalities, stuff like that. A couple new stage fatalities. Then we did some Mortal Kombat 1. We did some Mortal Kombat beat-em-ups, and there is three different Mortal Kombat games in the link tree for you legends right now, so make sure you're keeping an eye on that link tree. You got Outworld Assassin's Remix, Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat, and Mortal Kombat Complete Plus. Also, make sure to check out Defenders of the Earth, uh, Defenders of the Realm, Open Boar. That is also in there, as well as... Fightcade. So if you want to look up Fightcade, Fightcade's a way that you can play any fighting game online on your PC, or you can play anything like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, any of that stuff. Appreciate you legends that hung out with us today. Good times. I'm going to get the cat fed, myself fed, and I'm going to jump on Mortal Kombat 1 here in a little bit. Get some. I got to make our offline video for tomorrow. We have Nightwolf, Cyrax, Lady Noob, and Night two night two for Nightwolf, Allison and Ray. You're gonna probably be seeing some Nightwolf tomorrow. Actually, I'm gonna make it official. You got selected. Nightwolf will be the character selected tower for tomorrow morning. As I get ready to go, remember, my friends, I do say this every stream, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. We are all in this thing called life together, my friends, so please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be good to one another. Head out there in the realm. Spread some love and positivity. Do some great things. Headlock's heading out for now. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Me and the Itty Bitty Kitty are heading out for now, but as always, I will see you on the next Mortal Kombat video. Take care. Stay safe. Much love. Group hug. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you again very, very soon. Headlock's out, and thank you. Peace.